Hey, hey, how's it going? I'm hoping Twitch has started behaving itself. I mean, this morning when I tried to stream, it was um, Twitch being Twitch. You have a man's beard. That's nice. Yeah, I know that feeling. I'm hoping one of them maybe next times that um, Tavs does something beard related for a, a goal or something. They choose, they tend to shave it off. He looks very much baby faced. I think that's wishful thinking. Anyway, good afternoon. How are we doing? I am in Oslo if on Pro Mods. If you do want to come join me, I am at uh, Polaris Lines. Yeah, I believe that was the intention with it. Uh, I'm, I'm supposing that says you're literally on the internet between Bergen and Norway, or Bergen, Norway. Yeah, I'm sat in Oslo, well, just above Oslo, actually, in Polaris lines. So, let's go outside the truck. I know you can't see it as of yet. Let's put you on that sort of angle. Right, let's go live. Let's go live. Right, hopefully Twitch will behave itself. I mean, it was earlier. Um, live, you say? It live screen. So, earlier when I tried to go live, when I tried to go live live, um, yeah, Twitch was being twitchy, and yeah, me my message board was blanking out and this and that and the other, but yeah, although minute kind of soldered for it he probably shouldn't have done he should probably should have did like me and went no not today son um there's that beautiful face you need to go spec savers dude <laughs> but anyways yeah we're in oslo polaris lines um bit of news for you so here's the news um while we're waiting uh, i'm going to start off moving about four o'clock we're going to head down to hamburg uh, to the container port. Um, it's going to take about 45-ish minutes uh, real time. And yeah, bit of news. Vautonomy has put on his YouTube channel today. Who I mean, he's also one of the snobs to do with SCS. Um, new DLC coming tomorrow. Now, he says DLC. I say update. Because if you look at what he's talking about, he's talking about uh, a shaders pack update. He's talking about, well, the first thing you see in the video is a rigid truck, which if that comes in, that's going to be absolutely fucking beautiful. I'm going to love it. Um, and I shall go and, Georgie, good afternoon. Yeah, so he's talking about a shaders pack. He's talking about possibly the rigid truck coming in, possibly other trucks coming in tomorrow. Um, weather update 
in tomorrow's update he calls it he calls it a dlc i call it an update um if it's a dlc it's a dlc but like i say i call it an update um about time for them chucks joe yeah man they've been modded for ages um yeah rigid trucks have been modded for as long as i can remember playing this game and even before so i mean mark armstrong when i first started watching him I wasn't even playing this game then, and that was two and a bit years ago. And he was, he had a modded um, rigid truck then with a trailer. So they've been in the game modded for that long. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get underway in about eight minutes' time. Uh, I, If you want to join me, I'm in Oslo. Well, just above Oslo at Polaris Lines. <laughs> Ryan kind of looks like this. Molly, stop trying to wake mummy up. Okay. Too late. So yeah, um, this is one of the new trailer packs, guys. Um, so Tav showed it off the other day. It's the Caspor, however you want to pronounce it. Um, you can have it in three different values, or three different things you can put on it. I've got it set as a container. Uh, holder it's basically a low loader you can have it with two or three wheels longer or not longer or shorter i've got the short two wheeled version um which also has rear steer on the trailer it's very very nice to drive with i can tell you that for nothing i did a trip with this this morning um when the, even though the tinder net wasn't great yeah i did a, i did a job with this this morning and it was and it was brilliant to use um Reversing in the tight spaces, absolutely excellent with the with the wheels. Um, if you missed Tav's uh, little talk about it, while we've got enough time, let's take you into the trailer store. Um, I'm not going to buy it again. I'm just going to show you it. So trailer purchase, it's Casperger, Casper or whatever you want to call it. Um, and as you can see, they've got a few, but the one we re really want to concentrate on is this one. So. If you go into the configuration, um, yeah, go into this section, you can either have it as a low loader with metal, a container as I have it. Uh, and as you can see, that's added the container holders front and back. Or you can have it as a low loader with a center wooden floor. So you can just make that out, center wooden floor. Uh, whereas the top low loader, um, it looks like it's blank. So no no flooring on it at all, um, and yeah, like I say, you can either have it as short or extended. So add a bit of length to it. Two axles long, three axles long. I'm thinking maybe three axles long. You'd be allowed to, allowed to put the allowed to put the train on it. I don't know. Maybe um, color choices are a bit. Yeah, one color, same as normal low loader trailers. And add on bits is basically wheels. Um and the uh the thingy on the back. That is it for customization uh, customization on it. Not a lot you can do, but like I say, it is a nice trailer. I've been driving with this most of the morning. Um, like I say, if anyone wants to join, I'm in Oslo. Uh, we're, and I'm heading down to Hamburg. Uh, gonna download ETS2 tonight. Yep. I to be honest, I yeah, I've never got rid of it. Once I had a PC and started playing it, I've never really got rid of it. There's been times where I've quit playing it for a couple of months or a couple of weeks, but never totally deleted it off. Crash, how you doing, brother? Since you're awake. Where are you? <laughs> Am I going to pass you? Uh, we are listening to Simulator Radio. Not sure whether there's anybody due to be on. Let's have a look. Um, three three minutes and then I'm going to start moving, guys. So, uh, just about to leave Oslo. Yeah, I'm just about to leave Oslo too. I'm heading down to Hamburg. 
Uh, so let's have a look on Sim Radio and see if there's any presenters going to be live while I'm live. Uh, so I'm going to start convoy in f four, so I'll be leaving seven. You're in Oslo too. Wow, everybody's up here. All right, that's that. Go into that. Sign shape. Timetable. Don't start turning. Right. Uh, apparently nobody else on the rest of the days. But you never know, somebody might make an appearance. Where am I? Polaris Lines. Polaris Lines, just above Oslo. Nope. Oh. So, I say just above Oslo. If you F7 at Oslo, you end up down here, near the container port. So I'm just above Oslo, near where the ferry goes out. You're at the F7. Um, well, give me, give me five, give me a couple of minutes. Get a trip down to Hamburg. Where am I going to? Uh, from where you are. I'm going to the container port in Hamburg and I'll meet you on the road. On the way down, because i got to come past you anyway. Like I say, I'm not starting moving till four. So you got you got a little bit of time to go grab a job down the Hamburg container port. And like I say, i got to come past you on the way. Give me a minute. I'll give you two and a half. <laughs> Yeah, like I say, guys, a little bit of big, a little bit of news coming out of Autonomy today on his YouTube channel, um, saying there's going to be a DLC tomorrow. Um, but what he's showing is the rigid truck um, shader pack update and um, weather update. So, I think it's more of an update than a DLC, but we'll see. Miss Tips, how you doing? Good afternoon. Just looking behind me because that's where the road is. In crash, so give him a minute. Uh, what I will do is make sure lights is on. Yeah. Have we got one minute? Okay, jump in truck. Oh, we're already. Oh, oh, that was weird. The um, the dash was on, but the engine went and started. Uh, Gamers Asylum, thank you for your con contribution to the Steam Challenge. Um, just the thing about the Steam Challenge, guys. I am going to do it whether we make it or not. Um, the calculations were slightly optimistic, shall we say. So n this Saturday coming, um, I'm going to start about 8 o'clock in the morning from Kashari, which is about as east as you can go. And I'm going to come all the way across, uh, right up to Greenland, to a place called Nook. Um, yeah, so if anybody wants to join me, you're quite welcome to pop in and out and, you know, say hello on the road and as I go by. Um, I'll be sticking to 56 the whole way. Um, I'm currently downloading maps that works with 2.17, 2.71. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Streamer, you're on my speakers. That's good. Meet you on the road. No worries, dude. Right. It's uh, on the hour. Let's get rocking. Because this one's got steery wheels, guys, it does follow quite well. When I say quite well, very well. So you can actually turn slightly tighter. Also, I'm very pleased for Tab at the moment. Because he's got his new wheel. Uh, he's upgraded his Thrustmaster to Moza. And he managed to get the trucking wheel. Which, yeah... Even though I'm going to go Moser by the end of the month, I can't um, get the trucking wheel as of yet. Right, guys, anybody who's coming to drive with me, um, I am going to do 
56. Hey Matt, great radio show earlier. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, was it? I was, on a, I was having a little chat with um, Lukey earlier, uh, or afterwards, about certain stuff, which he was frustrated with, I was frustrated with about the radio station, and we kind of just sort of cleared a few thoughts and stuff about the goings-on. But, yeah, it was good. Because he's now just a presenter, not a promoter like he was before. Um, was it a promoter? No, recruiter he was before. So basically what, what Luke used to do is if you put a demo into the station, you get handed off to one of the recruiters, or the recruiters see the thing, and they themselves um, pick you. Then they obviously listen to your promo tape, um, get you in for a quick chatty chatty, um, get you into the um, test room, and see what you like. Um, so when I had my test at Simulate Radio, um, they got me in and said, look, run me through a few things in bobs and bits. And I was like, yeah, OK, bum, 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 bum. and then he went, OK, do me a few. Um, do me do me a few chatty bits, do me a couple of non chatty bits. And I had songs all picked out for that. So I, I did him. A, I did him um, a song chat song uh, and then a, just a song song sort of transition sort of thing. And that took about a minute. Basically, I did a chat one. I did a a non-chat one, and, he, and the guy went, "Yep, yeah, you're in," and sent me all the shit. It was. <laughs> I say it was easy. It was easy because I used to be a mobile DJ. That was my job. And guys, like Kev said, you know, if you wanted to listen back to my show earlier, if you. Do exclamation SOAG, that's exclamation S-O-A-G, or if you're already in the SOAG Discord, uh, go to the, I forget what section it's in, I think the general section, uh, where the general chat is, and just a little bit down, you will see a section saying music, and then under that, um, in with that section is SR Radio Replay. There the boys are. They'll catch me up, guys. I can tell you now, Crash normally does 61, 62 all the way, and I think same as Joe, so... Um, and to be honest, it's nice having Joe back with us at Viking Transport. It really is. I mean, I don't know the underpinnings of what went on while he left, but, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to have him back. So yeah, we tried to get on this morning, guys. Twitch was being twitchy. I mean, yeah, I came on, did a bit, because... Thank you. <laughs> I came on and did a bit, because uh, Minute was late on, on a... Minute was late on arrival. Um, if you're up out this morning, you'll know Minute uh, normally goes live about half past seven. Uh, but he didn't really go live until just after me. So I went live about five to eight, and he went live at eight o'clock. Um, and normally I don't like to overlap anybody in our community because we have the same viewers so if you can only watch on one thing like a tablet or phone or something why are you in this uh, it's Britannia Haulage again Donut Ed Unless it's somebody else, in which I apologise. I say that, guys, because as we all know, Britannia Haulage became Dark Age Gamer. Oh, that's not you. Okay, I uh, do apologise then. <laughs> anyway, Dark Age, thank you very much for um, you reading into my Steam wish list again. Um, so one of the DOCs that you bought for me was uh, this one that's on the back, the the old 
flatbed trailer. Um, can be used as a low loader or container low loader. It's very good, very nice. And yeah, thank you very much for that. So Dark Age, did he nick your old name? I say, I say it's a he, he, she. Happy to do so. Thank you very much, bro. Boys are right behind me. And guys, thank you very much. So many of you joining me so early on in the in the, in the on the road. Uh, no, that's the boss of the old VTC. Um, I was in. Says no more. I'll say no more. And yeah, let's not go there. Okay, no worries. <laughs> no worries, dude. Hey, yeah, no worries, dude. To be honest, you don't need to. Really don't need to. Anyways, guys, we're going to do, as normal, per normal, three hours of trucking. Hopefully, we'll get in a couple of thousand miles. Uh, I've already done 1,500 miles today already, so that will bring us nicely up. Uh, like I said, a bit envious of Average at the moment, having he, as he's already got his Moser and trucking wheel. Um, like I say, I won't have the trucking wheel for a good couple of months. Like a good couple of months. Unless somebody wants to um, <clears throat> gift me about £350. <laughs> or, or buy the trucking wheel for me. <laughs> you don't have to. I'm joking. One thing he has said, guys, is that he's put the... Uh, to have the trucking wheel on, you have to have the trucking amount, really, because else it's massive. Um, which then, from, I don't know, 85 degree length forward, it ends up being 40 degree, maybe, um, from flat. So up from flat. Um, and he reckons he's kind of looks like a bus driver now when he's driving the, the, with the trucking wheel. And I was like, but if you're driving a Scania, like this one, as you can see, the rake on the Scania wheel is quite extent. I mean, it's basically looks like you're driving a car. And that's just not in-game. That's how it looks. You know, you've, you, it's almost, I don't know, 70-ish degrees upright. No, and if, it, if there's any IRO truckers in here, they'll tell you. You know, truck, big trucks now, or the semi-trucks now, they don't have flat steering wheels anymore. Well, most of them don't, anyway. Send and half still do. It's, well, send and half, they aren't big trucks, are they? They're <laughs> kind of big vans. I believe there's a boat in this one. Um, unless one of you boys behind me knows the way round of dents without putting a a way a marker down. I ain't got a clue. I get lost with a marker. <laughs> Joe knows. He says we'll follow Joe. Joe, jump in front then. Yeah, I know. So it saves the boat, guys, and gives us extra miles. Um, I mean, nobody says they nobody said they want to join in yet. So you know, extra five ten minutes, dig around no dents. It's nice and easy. I know we stay on this road, so you know. Uh, currently doing miles in the Great Steppe. Yeah, trouble is with the Great Steppe DOC. Unless you got 
like rust maps and stuff like that connected into uh, pro mods you can't drive right through to there um, you know so even though the great step a is in pro mods now in TMP you literally have to once you've bought free garages I think and you can buy garages online you literally have to um, yeah you literally have to buy a garage over there so yeah and to be honest I won't bother doing that unless I put rust maps into my single player uh, and then when I do, if I do I'll be using my tank, Scania TNT 4, 4 series TCAP because I fucking love that thing I really do I mean it's not as powerful as this one I mean I think this one's a 730R series and the TCAP's like 625 but it's beautiful um, older, obviously older inside no sat nav um Here comes Joe. Matt, they just bought out a new dashboard for your truck. Do you want me to send it over to you? Hmm? What, the electronic one? It's just meant to be an improved version of the dashboard on the Scania. Nah, mate, if they brought out the electronic one, I'd have that. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really use the dashboard anyway. I I use the big sat nav quite more than anything because you literally can just look at the sat nav and go, yeah, I'm doing fifty six, uh, nearly sixty thousand mile cruise at fifty six. Time today is we're well, game game time ten minutes past twelve. Uh, 26 degrees full fuel you can see everything which is why I t I've turned off the game sat now um, can we get a stream of you doing a single player in that beast yeah why not I'm off for a little while so yeah I don't know maybe I don't know what should we say maybe tomorrow uh, first I, I gotta check with Kev because I I think I did and I need to check my stream so what did I do yesterday did I do farming yesterday if I did farming yesterday I'm doing trucking today so it'll be snow runner tomorrow um, if Kev's around it'll be snow runner tomorrow um, so it'll be tomorrow about two-ish if you if you're there Kev yes you've been you did mate um, snow runner tomorrow to make two ish I mean I know it depends on the other hour so because your other ass like my other ass she, she gets good days and bad days so so what we'll say is if Kev's available um I'm here and I'm down for snow runner yes so assuming she's okay and he can play tomorrow we'll do snow runner tomorrow which i'm on tennessee so we've got a couple of more spaces if anyone wants to join us um and you i don't think you need the doc i don't think you need the docs to join me it's a bit i don't know it's a bit weird we were looking at stuff the other day and i'm sure somebody that joined us the other day didn't have the docs in fact they definitely didn't have the trucks and i could still you could still lend people doc trucks it's weird um um dm you in the morning yeah no worries dude so if kev says okay tomorrow then i'll be doing um snow runner if not i'll do the single player tomorrow um so you just have to watch no you don't need the dlc to do it uh, and i was on tavs and didn't have the f dinner as season 14. yeah so there you go so you don't need the updated packs to help me out what i will say is Tennessee is quite, I don't know, what would you call it, Kev? Sticky mud? 
it's quite icky and sticky in it and rocks and shit um, so you need a truck that's capable I mean I can lend you a truck that's no problem I got, I got tons of trucks um, that's not being big headed I've, I've just got loads of trucks that are decent I mean I, for instance uh, of the PDOC trucks I've got I think I've only got one Atom but I can get another one that's no problem I've got three um, Zix 612s uh, which is the I keep getting the fucking name of this thing wrong the Mammothon something like that whatever yeah so I've got three of them I've got two 605 R's which are really good in mud so you know I got plenty I've even got two um, 64 131s which Kev absolutely loves so I got lo loads of trucks that anybody can use but you know if you're handy in the game then you know you won't need my help or Kev's help with a truck you'll have your own um, fully upgraded probably 64 131 anyway Uh, yeah, see Kev has a few spare trucks as well. Kev's basically done, I think you've done every map Kev except 14s at the moment. And he's restarted a couple of times as well, so. A bit like me, I've restarted twice, but I only got up to Umar. Didn't complete Umar first time round on console. And now I've restarted a second time. I've also got halfway through on hard mode. I did kind of cheat with that though. I For the first map. Um, so for the, for the completion of Michigan, I did use m two modded vehicles, one truck, one scout. Um, haven't done the last two maps with no DOC trucks. Yeah. So Ke what Kev does he, is he likes to do, um, default trucks on every map so he won't use stuff like the Mammothon um, the Atom anything that you buy extra in the game Kev doesn't use it but yeah tomorrow let's see what Photonomy is actually talking about with SCS because like I say if what he's saying in that video comes to life you know, maybe tomorrow we can, you know, we might be able to be going into a rigid truck. Um, I've completed what I've got twice started on hard mode. Mm -hmm. Not sure what to do with my own farm at the moment. Um, so I went on it the other day, did a couple of grass, not contracts, my own grass fields. Um, got about 50 million something like that um, I'm not going to break the bank I'm not on it enough to, to break the bank now so yeah not sure what to do with it because you know FS25 is just around the corner I mean what is it 20, 28 days you know we're no longer saying a month and such it's what 28 days to FS25 So when it says for me to come off, we're not going to come off. We're going to just follow Joe. Um, and then obviously my sat and I will take over for the, the exact way to go around dents then. It's quite funny because Joe's in front. Thanks Welsh. Joe's in front, but He's put that lag on his tag because he he lags a bit. So that's why I've given him about a truck and a half space in front just in case he does start twitching. I got a stream one, it don't look too bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he went horny, was he? And also, guys, what else I've done is I've turned all the game sounds down, uh, like all the engine sounds down, 
and maxed out the main volume control in game and the CV so I can hear everything that's going on. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the only thing I didn't do is put the game sounds up to 90%. I mean, so I can put the game sounds up to 100%, be a little bit better. I can hear the everything clearer. No problem. No problem. And Crash is just doing Crash. Crash will just... Once you convoy with Crash, he'll just stick behind you. It doesn't matter where you are. I love, I love the, the convoy with Crash. Stop the tipping before you fucking take it away from your mouth, man. That might be handy. Freaking mucky bugger. I tell you what, my my dash like this truck as well. Massive sat nav, and I don't need to use the in-game sat nav. I love it. Somebody, somebody. Not even near the turn off yet. We're just going. This is the over and under, I think. Chris, how you doing, lady? How was work? Hopefully, the kitty winkles didn't drive you nuts. Hi, Mal. It was work. Okay, no worries. Oh, animal. Poor animal had um, his Discord hacked the other week, um, and I think well, we told him all he had to do was log in and change his password. But uh, I think you know, I don't know what he did in the end, but he's back. Where are we heading? Hamburg. Um, we're going to take a slight detour, so we might be about twenty-five-ish minutes. We're only travelling at 56, just, uh, you know, if anyone wants to catch us up, yeah, they can easily do so. Uh, it's, it's quite my normal speed, to be honest. Um, how do you use normal mods in, in Trucker's MP? You are allowed up to a hundred mods, and most of them have to be interior. Um, and I use them via um, Project ALM. Uh, I only use like three mods though. So here's the turn in which we would have taken, but we're not going to take it. We've got to just go, go straight on. Um, 
and within Project ALM, you can see the downloadable mods. Uh, and when you click on one, it takes you to the to a website to download them. Um, and then all you basically do is save your game, go to local mods, tell it to load what you want, go back into the game, load the game again, and it should be there. So I've got a nice interior for my Scania, and I got a big sat now, and that's all I wanted. So there's my sat now, telling me to go around dense. So if I zoom out now, look. Yep, we're going the right way. So, you know, if Joe wants to return to the back of the queue, he's, he's um, yeah, doesn't matter. Looks like I've got, got a bit of, um, like, desync with him. So, basically, my 56 isn't his 56. Um, so I've, I've, I'm going to speed up to 57. I'm guessing that's Animal behind us. No, it's not. I'm doing 57, Matt. So, yeah. <laughs> Dickhead. Uh, what is the best map DOC? Uh, which one would you recommend? The thing is, that's th that's a kind of difficult question because they've all got their own merits. Um, yeah, they've all got their own merits, so it's quite difficult to say, get this one, get that one, because, yeah, it's... But to be on Pro Mods like I am now, you need all of them. All the map DLCs from SCS. But what I would do is just, if you've, say, just got default game, look at the ones that's around the map you have available to you and get them. So basically, don't, if you've just got the default map, don't get, say, um, West Bokins, because you won't be able to get there, it's fucking miles away, you know? Because I think you need Middle East to get the West Balkans. So he's part of a DLC, but they haven't got their own TMP DLC skins, or uh, their own skins. Yeah, so that's what I'd recommend. If you've only got base game, then just get a connecting map DLC. And try and look for deals. So if you've got, I don't know, say something that connects with part of Europe, um, in with the, what you've got already, try and see if there's a pack with another DOC on it, map DOC, because then you'll probably get it cheaper than buying it separately. Um, so you'll like get a map DOC, you'll get like two map DOCs. There's normally like a tire pack or a paint job or something extra in the pack and you still get the DOC cheaper. No, I don't know who you are. <laughs> So we're just going past the dents. So it's shown 15 minutes. Um, game is silent. Uh, so we should be there in about 12, I'm guessing. Because obviously road speeds are 50. We're doing 57 when we're allowed. Um, yeah, on Steam there's a bundle uh, that do West Bokens, Road to Black Sea, Going East uh, as the price, uh, as just two... Yeah, so you get a deal. You know, even if you had, even if you had one of those DLCs in that pack, it discounts off it. And gives you the other two cheaper than buying it singly. It's amazing. So just watch out for them. When I say watch out, 
go into those packs and see what you've got, see what it's going to give you the others ones that you're missing for. Because, like I say, nine times out of ten, it'll end up cheaper. I mean, for instance, when I needed uh, West Bokins, I bought the pack with West Bokins in, Middle East, Going East and all that lot in it. And I got it for a pound cheaper than buying it singly. And that's the only DLC I needed from that pack. Yeah, I got it for a pound, pound cheaper than buying it on its own. Snowrunner does the same. So, in Snowrunner, you've got the season single map packs, and you've got the year anniversary packs. If you only need, like, one or two of the map packs, look at the anniversary pack. Not only will you get um, the DOC trucks for that year pack, you will also get the two maps that you needed for cheaper than buying them singly. It's a great thing that Steam does. Crash, did I see right? You've got a crown now? Yeah, man. <laughs> Boy's happy. Well done, dude. You've uh, moaned enough at the right people. Most <laughs> <laughs> travel Vikings from Matthew Logistics. Matthew Logistics, you have a safe journey, bro. You too, bro. You too. That's what I like. I mean, you get that all the time on ATS uh, with the with the Americans. All the time, they won't put a, they won't put a thing up in the chat. They won't beep at you. They'll get straight on the radio, like you would an IRO, and go, "Yo, dude, I see you on the other side. Great journey," and you're gone. I love it. I love I love the interaction like that. Really do. You know, and he didn't put a chat message up to us trying to poach us. We don't put a message up to him trying to poach him, and it's all gravy. And Matthew Logistics, they're big, big hitters. I mean, Crash knows how big a hitters they are. Normally, he battles Matthew Logistics for top UK driver. And I don't just mean top UK driver in a separate company. Top UK driver, full stop. But I'm heading for the weekend. I bet that's on another another map. It's what, it's what the shitty thing is with this. Um, so it says there's a roadside accident in 400 meters. But I bet it's on like Sim 1. If Trucky comes in, and they occasionally do, I'll just ask him about it. Because they might have a fix. You know? It's happened a lot. I'll still use Trucky, because Trucky's awesome. And basically, what you see on the top bar, on, on the top of the screen, that's exactly what I use it for. You know, I use it for a bit of information about the truck, how many miles I've done with it, because I like to see that. What, how, what, what's damaged on the truck, what gear I'm in. In fact, I'm not in a very... I'm not in the highest gear. I am now. Um, what speed I'm doing, what the cruise speed speed is. I've even got the trailer uh, damage on there as well now. Uh, what lights I'm using. Of course, start point, destination. Thanks, Kenny. Uh, what my what my driving stats are, whether they be real race or anything. What load I got on, how much weight, how much I'm earning. Brick. Uh, the next one with the suitcase, that's how many miles I've actually driven. And then it, the last bit is speed, how many miles to go. And then the most important thing that I look for with Truckee is IRO time it's going to take me to do it. The only way that fucks up is if you take a boat and then it doesn't calculate the boat. Uh, so, and I... I... Hello, 
Hello, guys. Good trip. Hello, Joe. Good trip. Safe travels, mate. There we go. He kind of says safe travel in his own language, um, not knowing that we're English. Uh, and Joe's just answered him. Love it. Absolutely love it. And guys, I'm glad Twitch is behaving itself. I'm glad that the Lumia is behaving itself. It's a lovely thing. Oh, hello. Joe nearly ended up on my front seat then. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Jones and Son just gone past me? No, Joker's a Spaniard. Joe wants me to go by because he was he just lagged then. Coming through, Jojo. There you go, we're through. Not only uh, does Joe do that, also a guy that we that used to be in our VTC years and years ago, uh, Grizzly. Um, it's Grizzly something, and I forget his last name. He he did the same on his um, name. He'd put I lag, stay away, on his on his tag. Um, it's really nice. I lo used to love drawing with him. Um, even if I had to back then, I used to make a lot of mistakes. And I used to have to F7 a lot. Um, and if I had F7 come up behind him, because he'd only do 56, 50, he'd stick to kind of road speeds. And whenever you come up behind him, he'd pull in and I'd crack on by. Um, J plays keep back, it used to say. Or oh, keep, oh, keep distance, yeah, man. That's a nice pack to look at, that is. That, the JCB pack, yeah, that is so nice. Um, all the strapping is correct. It's like they've properly scanned it and looked at it. It's cracking. Um, who, you, who am I with now? Yeah, I'm with Tav. To be honest, when the companies put their friendly split, I immediately went with Tav. I'm one of the Viking Transport Originals. Um, and it was nothing against GD or any of the guys over there. Um, yeah. The only thing that we kind of had a little bit of disagreement with with GD is because it was a server that we were all driving on, there was too many changing of mods. Uh, and that's the only thing. And that's because GD likes to fiddle around with his mods all the time. And it's a GD thing. Which is why a lot of the time you see GD play on single player games. And like I say, there's nothing against that. You know, we just wanted something stable. So when Tav said, I'm going to move over, create something stable in farm sim and trucking. You know, I'm going to do my own thing. There was a load of us that went, we want to do our, we want to do that as well. Uh, I always used to play single player and now nothing but TMP. Yeah, same here. I like this, I don't know, kind of camaraderie between yourself and everybody else on the map, which is why I kind of like ATS slightly more because um, the vocals happen more on ATS. Um, do you get RTCs and ETS? You do. You do if you play single player and have random events on. Then you'll get stuff like um, I had it the other day on my single player and I had traffic on uh, and road events on. I had an accident in the highway and they landed a helicopter. Now sometimes and only sometimes you can get by the helicopter and not have to divert. But sometimes, yeah, not so much. Uh, for me, it's a uh, competitive side with trucks that makes the driving more meaningful. Yeah, yes and no. I mean, to be honest, we what we say 
over here is that um, this is the miles, you know, make sure you do them or, you know, you get a few, you get a certain amount of time to do them in a month. If you can do them in the time allotted, it's perfect. If you don't, you may get deleted, but you're always welcome back. Um, you know, we just want people to enjoy the game. I mean, somebody like Crash, who's in with us now, he kind of takes it a little serious, but it's fine. You know, he's to his own gameplay. You know, he tries to go for top UK driver every month. Well, I say every month, every month that he's not going to cool down. Um, and to be honest, because he had um, trucks books fail on him, I think he's now doing it on a cooldown month again. You always see Crash at the top? Yeah, man, you'll see him there most of the time. Like I say, he dropped in the UK standings of drivers, and that's because he wasn't logging jobs. He logged a shit ton of miles in four days, but it didn't log for him. I mean, literally, we went, or we, uh, we, as in the VTC, Windy, a load of other people, went through a load of shit with him. Oh, shit, we came off on the wrong one. Uh, four miles. That was yapping and not concentrating. Um, I had it two days ago, 4K trip, never looked, never showed up on trucks with it. Yeah, I think, I think Crash had about 10 grand of miles before he realized that it wasn't logging any of them. Well, more than that, maybe, because he does about 12 grand a day. Uh, Crash does about 12 grand a day, and it was like t two days before he realized that it, nothing was tracking. You imagine losing that many miles. Who have I got with me now? Uh, I got a crash with me now. Uh, Joe, I know you're watching stream. Um, I followed you the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I realised. Um, yeah, Joe, if, you, if you're watching stream, we're going to be five minutes, mate. Um, if you want to get there and make a job, about 600 mile. We'll just copy yours. Sweet, thank you. I think Gamers Gamers Asylum's gonna be there anyway. So guys, like I say, if you want to join us, uh, we're heading for Hamburg Container Port. Um, you got about four minutes to get in there. Um, if you got the new DLC trailer, you can copy my job. If you haven't, obviously you can copy Joe's job. And if you want to totally mess up my day, guys, you know, use the bitty redeems, use the channel point redeems. And yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll get groovy and have some fun. When you download a local mod on ALM, do you have to unzip it? Yes. So you have to down you have to unzip the the first download you get down and then you'll have a folder and then like i say you go into your game save the game go into alm local mods find the mod you want to use hopefully you're already in the truck you want to put it into uh, which i think is a must and then local mods find the mod install it it'll say it's all done go back into the game and then load up that game so hopefully uh, you will call your save game something like modded so it can be found easily. Um, I was running through Italy uh, with a few of the MO guys yesterday, some nice trucks they, they got. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, I think you can have some exterior mods. It's just that some mods TMP doesn't allow. Um, I think a lot of them are kind of like underglows and stuff, but only a hundred mods in general, local mods in general. I mean, Crash lost one of his best, best modded trucks the other day, 
and it was right on the limit of how many mods you were allowed. That's why, that, to be honest, Crash is the reason why I learned how many mods you were allowed. Because he, he maxed his truck out on what was allowed. Uh, guys, um, if you're using your points on the community event, community challenge, regardless whether we make it or not, um, regardless whether you make it or not, um, for the end, I'm still going to do it because I sort of miscalculated um, what you guys could do. And I had to take a break the other day as well because I went very well. Um, so there was a day lost. So basically what I did is I calculated for... 20 of you every day being able to use 20, uh, 2,000 uh, charm points which seems a lot but I know you. So there's a few of you have got a few saved up I mean if you look at me into say averages channel I've got 108k saved up so I could do literally 2k a day for however many days are, you know it goes for and still have enough for myself you know, and I know there's a few of you in my channel that can do exactly the same. So, you know, that's why I did 20 at 2,000. And over the days allotted, you would have got there with a day to spare. So, yeah, if you... Really? You really want to give me that huck turn spit on my thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Also, guys, you may have noticed that a lot of the ATS, ETS redeems now are next job. So I don't change them straight away. Anymore. So stuff like GPS, 50-50 um, rain, um, truck changes, I don't do them until next job, all of them. But I do have markers that I put on screen so that you guys know not to use them. Okay, right. Container port down there. Joe's already got the next job. Gamer mum's gamer asylum's not uh, in sight yet. I don't need the parking points. Right. So to pick the next job, guys, if you didn't know, you go into your TMP menu, right click to bring up the arrow, click on the guy that's got the job, and copy it. Now I want to use my own trailer. I don't want to use Joe's trailer, no offense to Joe. Um and I'm gonna do guys, how many random picks shall we have for cargo? First number in chat, go. Twenty, you bastard. Apples. You're a dick. Oh, oh, okay. Just to show I can do it in cab. <laughs> okay, so. Right, how do we make it out of here? Um, 
Okay, we've got to go back through there. No worries. So we're going to Klagenfort. So if you want to join convoy guys, uh, 49 minutes down to Klagenfort. So uh, guessing there'll be time for like one or two more jobs after that. Oh, hello. <laughs> Crash your rider. <laughs> you won't let me through, you know the barrier's up. <laughs> I think it's stuck you're so far to the right, I think you're stuck on your stuck on the top. There you go. Yeah, you're too far right on my screen. Okay, so well, I'm guessing it's this way. <laughs> oh, we could have gone straight ahead. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll pick what side of the road I want to be on in a minute. Crash, that's fine. <laughs> it's like he calls me pick a lane anyway. <laughs> in fact, I'm pick a lane number two. I know who's number one, but I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm guessing this is a little bit of a public area and it's a little busy. Hey, hey! Atriana, how you doing, lady? And Chris is like, it's me. I wasn't going to say, any say anything, Chris. Ready? I wasn't. You might as well. <laughs> uh, how is everybody doing? We're doing grand. We're doing grand now that um, Twitch has stopped mis misbehaving. This morning it was fucking terrible. I mean, literally, it was fucking terrible. I got on, loaded up OBS, got everything ready to rock and roll. Everything looked fine. Hit the go button and all of a sudden, boom, it went blank. Uh, I'm just as bad. I don't pick a lane. Yeah, to be honest, you were all right a minute ago when I went by you. Uh, back up to 56 when it allows. Or if we're city limits at the minute. Bahu Yuhura. See, if I knew it was these boys only that was going to come today, I would have literally done the uh, Taranto to... Um, oh, that's a bit fast. Taranto to, uh, Oslo to Taranto run. Love that run. Love it. Four toes. Three of them are drive... Well, four toes. All of them are drive through. Two of them you got to slow down for. One stop for a boat. Fucking lovely. Uh, in 1,750 mile on the clock in an hour and 40 minutes. It's some good driving. I don't mean it takes a good driver to drive it. It's a very easy drive.
So, I'm drinking my Wraith Guys Gamers back boy. Right? You always go on the way back. <laughs> we haven't might yet. Yeah, so guys, I'm drinking Gamers Bath Water for my Wraith. Oh, who did you see? <laughs> Thank you for the disco. Disco's here and disco is there. Black Tigers. Danny, thank you. Disco lights, what they do now, guys, they not only flash my lights in a disco kind of styley, they also, as you saw, put disco lights on the screen. Uh, I'm drinking... Yeah, fucking sneak tosser. I trump your sneak with my wraith. <laughs> <laughs> we are on one of the busiest routes on TMP at the minute for people who do mass miles might try Wraith one day it's the same as Snake buddy it's a powder based drink and all you do is add water or one of the guys were on about using lemonade, but by the time you shake it up, you know, it's going to be lively, shall we say. Unless there's a way you can maybe stir it in without it becoming lively, I don't know. So it's Monday Miles, guys. Like I say, everybody's welcome, and not just my our VTC. I was going to say my VTC, it's not my VTC, I'm just a rep. So I can hire people, I can sort of ask the managers any questions you might have that I don't know the answer to, but I can't fire you. And I'm in there to help you with stuff like where to go to search out um, like the mods for TMP and such for and so forth. Mm, yes, it is. Also, guys, we are now a VTC on TMP. Um, so the TMP VTC thing isn't, or they don't log miles. What they do is allow you, us to use private servers, or at least put in for the use of a private server. Um, so like next birthday for the VTC, we can apply for a private server to use. Um, and then just us are on it. And we can apply to either police it ourselves or use the um, the guys from TMP to police it for us so here's another one of those accidents but I bet in 612 meters there's nothing guys from Truckee you're around can you fix this bullshit that's on other servers not on pro mods To be honest, if it's going to put that up from all servers, what it should say is this is on Sim One. If it can't, if it can't differentiate between um, the servers individually that you're on and that accident's on, you know, maybe they could just put on it Sim One, Sim Two, Pro Mods RK, Pro Mods, or just Pro Space Arc. You know what I mean? And then we know that's on our server, that's not on our server. Because it's, it's just the three of us, I'm going to pop 58. I mean, I, I don't need fuel, I know Crash doesn't use fuel. Um, don't know what Joe does, probably the same as us. 
it's only slight changes yeah you don't have to refuel over so guys it's only just a save edit um in your save folder that's all to get you uh colby dale colby dale uh hi that screen in your truck is it a mod yes yes and i had to use a left hand drive to get it well not just that also my interior is only left hand drive If I could have this exact same interior in a UK style truck, like so right hooker, I'd have it. But I don't think it's possible. shouldn't whistle really i know how horrible it is going over stream and i hate it myself but yeah tomorrow should be a good day when i say tomorrow should be a good day because people weren't in it when i first first talking about it um once you get time go to youtube search up a chat called vitonomy that's v U T O M Y in today's vlog about what's coming tomorrow apparently he he calls it a DOC I think it's just an update um, first thing he shows you is a rigid truck so I don't know whether that's in tomorrow's or not I'm hoping it is um, and then he talks about updates to sort of redrawing trees but using the same kind of bit rate um, as before um weather updates and other such stuff um apparently when he gave out the other day that he they'd finished germany um there's still more than 1.53 to come for germany um he talked a little bit about remapping the uk but he said look that map needs a total overhaul so it might take a little bit of time so with that being said, don't expect UK to be done in the next six months or so. Maybe longer. I, I've, I've said it a lot. Why don't they just, I don't know, buy out pro mods? So it would solve all of SCS's problems, it really would, to do with maps. They could just go to the guys from Promods and go, look, can we buy your maps or do you want to come and work for us and do our maps for us? Sorted. And then every update then, Promods or not, or it won't be Promods, it'd be just SCS. But everything then would just come from SCS as, a, as just a small update, small update. Yeah, there is that Promos one I want to sell. But you know how it goes, Kev, the old saying. Money talks. I know, I know that fact. All Promos guys used to work for SCS anyway. And they split. Because, well, mainly because, the, the you know, the road networks, which they themselves have put into the game now, the TMP and all that sort of thing. You know... A, a, a more I don't know up to date than the ones currently in game guys let me know if I'm getting a little bit, little bit too dark and it's start getting dark outside so um if it looks like I'm getting too dark, I'll just I'll put the light on. I tried my green screen the other day because I use a uh, program for a green screen, which takes a lot of processes away. But I tried to use my own green screen the other day and it, it looks shit.
I'm not interested in drawing in the map, guys. Not for Pearl Mods. I'm... I'm so far behind it's unreal. But apparently all you need yeah, is to... Check your trucks, but mate, I don't think it's logging again. Oh, not again. What's that sign? I don't think your truck's book is logging. So I'm all over the place guys, I'm trying to log in the trucks works to see if that's the case. That is not logging. But it's top the leaderboard. Um job log overview. Get rid of that ad. Get rid of that ad. Come on, get rid of that ad. Yep. Um last page. Um, uh, last few jobs, Joe. Yeah, your last job didn't log. What job was that that logged? Uh, come on, get the fuck out of the way, Ad. FML. Why didn't tell me what? I'm all over the road, guys. I know I am. Um. Do 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 do. Where's crash? So your last job, that log crash was Portly A's to San Giovanni. Trying to see what time you pick that job up. Real time taking. Crofty! Uh, five o'clock this morning, and. It's Crofty! Hi, guys, how you doing? Uh, welcome in. Thank you for the raid, Crofty. Uh, how is Diggy Diggy Ho? Yeah, five o'clock this morning, it stopped logging me. Crash. Guys, once the... Uh, do I have any mods in? No, I don't. To be honest, what should happen when anybody raids in, it should auto shout out the raider. <laughs> and I don't know why it doesn't. Ah, she's there anyway. There we go, it's Crofty. Like I say, guys, I know she's playing it out of war earlier. Um, I was there for a little while lurking while I was doing other stuff. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And I did see Cersei was there as well. And once we, uh, once my, once it updates, we sure uh, for viewers, uh, I shall be giving uh, Cersei a bit of a shout out too. And guys, don't forget, Cersei is doing a charity event at the moment in aid of Hearing Dogs for the Deaf. Um, and basically, what she's doing is an amazing thing. Um, some of you may know that. Normally, on her, her bad day, she uses a wheelchair. Um, but on her good days, she's getting up, walking around for the charity. Um, and if I had the link, I'd put it in. <laughs> Be right back. No worries, Crofted. 
Um, if there are any VIPs that have the link, you can post it to Sashi's Cherry. I believe VIPs are allowed to post links. Ah, there she is. So there's a shout out for Cersei, guys. Might get a bit dark now. Computer. No, not computer. Mine ain't called computer, is it? <laughs> Alexa, computer on. Averages is called computer. Mine scored itself. Uh, Matt sent you the sent sent it via whisper. Okay, dude. Downside is I'm I'm, I'm driving. Oh, come off. Um, yeah. DJ, you not a freaking thingy, Mijiki? I'll have to change that, dude. I do have a VIP space because, uh, yeah, Xeno became, became one of my mods. <laughs> Who's behind me? Crash, who again isn't logging and hasn't logged since five o'clock this morning. Not sure why. And Joe Wells. who has recently come back to us at Viking Transport. I don't know what um, Crash's PC is doing while he's asleep. Because I bet from 5 o'clock he got off at 5, went to sleep, and now he's back on it, trucking again. It's not logging again. So whatever happened while he was in his sleep phase, probably... He, I don't know, maybe didn't even log off. Probably. Everybody. Yeah, what I did was turn the PC off, turn it back on this morning, and done work. I bet it's that. I bet it's a DLL again, mate. And it's deleted it thinking you're not using it because all it does is log jobs or some shit like that I'll have a look when we drop off yeah yeah um, do the same shit as what you did before mate put it on the save edit too and see if it picks anything up innit? and then try and start the game from there and that's what told you what was wrong before So guys, we'll be in Klagen for um, in about 17 minutes if anyone wants to join. Uh, we're going to Tradex. And thanks to Dark Age Gamer, I've got the new trailer, which Tav was in the other day. Although mine's only got two wheels at the back because I chose a short one.
Euro Cargo. Some some companies on here today I've never never even seen before now. Like that one, Euro Cargo, I've never really seen them. Uh Dark, whatever it was, never seen them before. I'm a well travelled person on this on this game. I mean, for instance, this truck, I can tell you, is only two months old. 60,000, nearly 61,000 miles. Uh, Brandon Kyle, Brandon Kylie, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the fan house. How are we doing? Good afternoon. How's it going? Howdy, how's it going? Wow. Why did I, why, why was I thinking American and came out Australian? Strange. Very mixed up person. Oh, I like this song. I know that. I like the art. I know that. I like the artist. Yeah, but sometimes the artist doesn't really you know do everything that you want them to do uh do we have a dj on just now no we don't in fact we don't have one on for the rest of the evening at the moment i say at the moment because i'm saint's still on holiday i believe I know everybody's uh, ever told you this, but you look like Bill Murray. I'll accept that as a compliment. Fucking I love Bill Murray. That guy just has a kind of automatic hit on my funny bone. Some of the shit that he's done over the years is fucking hilarious. Uh, where am I from? You're from the US? Of course you're from the US. Because your first word was howdy. I know that's, you know, not saying much, but, you know. Yorkshire lad, how you doing, dude? Uh, I'm from the UK, dude. Uh, I know I probably missed it due to helping the missus earlier, but did you play Pink Floyd Money? No, I didn't. I played comfortably numb. Because I didn't have money. Yep, you're from Texas. Hmm. The state of the guns. I don't mean that as a as a bad thing. There's just a lots of guns in Texas. <laughs> ah, okay, swap. So yeah, I didn't have money, so I, I I just played something from the same artist. Replay. How you doing, brother man? Yeah, in toxic weather. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, I'm good, dude. That's your well. Um, he also played Trucking Simulator as well, just Euro Truck. I play American Truck and Euro Truck. And for some reason, my um, Elgato's decided to go. No, nah, not not having anything today. Uh, Yorkshire last statement with a dad joke. Someone asked me, "What's the what's the ninth letter of the alphabet?" It was a complete guess, but I was right. Mhm. Mm You stupid little crack that's taking over what you say. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> it just happens.
I'll get there in a minute, Reflake, give you a shout out. Hello, dog. If I've got to go for the break in a minute, I'm getting I'm gonna get some more noises than I want. There he is, guys. Shout out for our friends from Bivar. And he's the head of Bivar Replay. Uh, go check him out when he's live, guys. He's good peoples. Have you ever heard of 18 Wheels of Steel? No. What Scania is that? The R series. I'm driving a Scania R. Um, what well, I feel like raining for no reason. Be right back. Um, I'm going to be coming in with a raid soon. Yeah, no worries, dude. Well, you heard it here first, but guys. Brandon Carl is going to bring his people over to see my peoples. Very good, very nice, isn't it? And like I say, one of these days, I'll actually fix the wrecking raid messages so that whoever raids gets an automatic shout out. <laughs> That's on my to-do list. Uh, I need to ask Average what the thing is for that, because obviously whatever I've got for the thing is wrong. With Lumiere. Leave it a disco. Yes, guys, that is really appearing in front of my screen while I'm gaming. Uh, oh, dang, I can't. It says you're not allowing raids. I am. Um, because I tend to get hit with a lot of streamer bots. I think like stuff like two ver two thingy verifications on, um, and I'm sure raids from people I don't know or friends of friends is on or something. So if you're not a friend of a friend, then maybe not. Uh, I'm not. I'm in the streamer, which on Discord I'm a YouTuber. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't think you can raise from YouTube to to Twitch, mate. No worries. Glad you're here anyway. Save you peace for another day. Yo, tears for another day. Sorry, Joe, and a bit of lag there. That's okay. I thought I'd just swim up the way. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that good with um, outside apps. I barely know what I'm doing with Twitch. <laughs> I know I know to hit the button and start talking. That's about, that's all I know. <laughs> Hello, handsome. You still need freaking glasses, mate. Yeah, no barrier on this one. Anyway, Red, how you doing, brother? Did you know, guys? Or maybe you do know, but did you know, ladies, if there's any ladies in here? If you have the fancies on for Game Room Redman, he's now off the market. 
the boy's got now an invisible ball of chain on him, on his leg and a ring on his finger <laughs> uh, I'm good mate just finish work yeah, yeah no worries <laughs> Boy loves it, really. He's already gone. He's already gone on his honeymoon and come back. <laughs> and when he is got, when he is live, guys on Twitch, he loves hearing Pedro. Cheers, guys. Thought it would only last a day or two. Yeah, right. Can't wait to see that thumbprint on your fucking forehead, mate. <laughs> when you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it's a thing people ask me you know what's the what's the key to a successful marriage because some of you may or may not know I've been married now 20 years um, the key to the key to a successful marriage trust and truth It's all you need. Trust and truth. And to be honest, when I got married, it didn't really change anything. Not for me. Not for the, well, I say not for the wife, but, you know, she gained security that I was never going to leave her. None of us, neither of us could afford the divorce. <laughs> I was just checking to see if I was going to get punched in the head or not. <laughs> uh, what, dear? I know. That's why I'm choosing my words. <laughs> Bitch. Anyway, guys, when we do the drop off, we'll sort out where we're going next. I think Crash is going to try and sort out trucks because if it don't log, and yeah, we shall probably just keep heading south. And then for a, 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 a hurrah, um, we might just do a quick long job. I say a quick long job, a standard um, Toronto to Oslo, our 40 job, just to finish off the stream. I don't need to worry about this trailer guys because it has steering wheels on it it just follows the truck very very nicely i don't have to go wide with it or nothing it's 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 beautiful that needs this new trailer
There we go. Let's turn you off. Uh, let's grab a job, and we should take a take a short bio, and then we should get rocking again. Marina. Um, that'll do nitrogen. There we go. Jobs up, fellas. Um, I know Crash probably won't go and do this one because he's going to try and sort of track specs. But I should be right back. Gone for a bio. Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy, oh, Jesus! Oh, man. Jeez. I can feel that in my steering wheel. You know? I don't wear anything. Average is right. The competition was to see how many actual words you could get out in like two minutes or something. And he just got out and got up and went and it was all actual words. It went blah, 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 obviously. And yeah. Yeah, the bar. The next day, I couldn't even touch myself with any other part of myself. Dildo. I know, I took Chrome out. I think Guy and Lee did some sort of bad part. I took Chrome out just to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, give, give us a story. Give us a story. Come on, give us a story. <laughs> Lou, tell me a story. <laughs> Go on, tell me a story. You know you are. <laughs> uh, it ain't happening. You can suck. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Caught it, caught it, caught it. It's all good, it's all good. Ooh. Right, let's get rid of the wall. Right, it's over to my right. Whoa, 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 whoa. hello. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> we might win this. We might not win this. Yes, we did win this. <laughs> Me sideways. <laughs> yeah. Grumpy Tampon from Twitch. How you doing, dude? Love that name. <laughs> oh, Tarpon. Fucking me. Oh, yeah. Ignore me. <laughs> Okay, how's it back? Let's go. Put my ears on. Uh, and guys, thank you for sticking around. Right then. Where are we to? We're over there. Okay.
There we go. Well then guys, we're heading down to Toronto to the marina. Um, this is going to take us about 53 minutes. Uh, and then like I say guys, we're then going to come up and yeah. Not sure if that last one logged for crash either. Let's just quickly check. Two seconds, please. Two seconds, guys. It's, it's easy for me to check on the website when the website comes out. No, I think you're still on the same mileage, mate. Book book. Page 11. Uh, mining Joe's logged, uh, but not crashes. Crash, have you tried to sort out your trucks book or not? Yeah, we did it again. Let's see if it works this time. Roger that. I tell you what, I've put the um, the extender on back on my gear shifter, the mod anyway, and it stopped moving around. I think I've actually tightened it up enough this time as well. It's so I can have more than just six or seven gears. You know, and I can carry heavier loads as well. Because uh, I've got lower gears to use, or more gears to use. I don't know which way it's going to take us, guys. Hopefully it will take us down the... Uh, east side of uh, Italy. Which is the way I know, anyway. Like I say, from here, if it takes us down the east side, there's a couple of drive through uh, tows. Uh, there's two you got to slow down for, and, uh, and we're into Toronto. 58. Let's go. And guys, if there is any mods around, if you know that there's streamers in, please feel free to shout anybody out that you feel need to shout out. down the way I normally go that's fine yeah once we hit Italy it's going to take us down the east coast so by the looks of it yeah it's going to take us down past uh, Paraska which is where I normally go so guys I feel that the northbound route on the route that we're going to do in a minute is better than what a lot of people do for an extra couple of hundred miles and when i say for a couple of hundred miles normally they do san giovanni to um oslo but they go via odense but every time i've done that route it's took me through a load of very slow toes it's took me through a border crossing in austria and it's uh, the start of it is just very very slow um and with that being said, I feel that's why the Taranto run to Oslo and you don't change nothing is better. I mean, you can add mileage to you if you want and go via Odense and Rang, but to be honest, for an hour and three quarters, if that's all you got, just the front run and do it northbound. 
that way you don't have no um, loop the loops at any of the junctions it's just nice quick sweeping corners very easy to drive in fact um, at Triana if you want to get some quick miles in start Taranto at about the marina go to Oslo at the Polaris lines where I started today and just do the default run very easy hour and three quarters 1750 mile easy run you just stick 60 all the way and I know you can do 60 now because you've been out with the guys lately and yeah that's what they've been doing and you, I know you're comfortable with it now So guys, yesterday we did a giveaway, uh, one by Mystic Smiler. Congratulations, dude. Uh, so basically he won um, all the game codes that I'd won on it or for everybody else, which I looked the games up. It was about £65 worth of games. Plus I added some money of my own and bought him a DLC to a game uh, that was in his wish list. Uh, so he probably had about 80 quid in total of prize money in game codes and DLCs. Uh, Drunken Ball, thank you for your participation in East to West, uh, which is going to happen on Saturday. Yeah, shit. Yawn, good evening. Just woke up, have you? I didn't ask you anything. Okay, you're being polite. I, I said good evening and you want to answer me. <laughs> so, when I said to you, good evening, um, yeah, she answered and showed me a picture of a dog waving over a fence. <laughs> That's what I was laughing about. Uh, Wendy, thank you for your uh, East to West contribution. How you doing, bro? Wendy has a new walk-in and he doesn't like it. <laughs> it's a shorter one though than he used to have. Yep. <laughs> delay? What delay? I mean, there's always stream delay. As long as it ain't above, I don't know, kind of three seconds, then it's good. I can tell you now, from you pressing a button to me getting it is about 30 seconds. Although Twitch says it, I mean, Twitch said to me earlier that stream delay between, uh, who was I watching? As I was watching, yeah, I was watching um, Minute and he was having the same problems as I was having with Twitch this morning. Twitch was being twitchy. Um, so I went over to watch Az because Az just started up and wasn't having any problems at all. Um, come on, open. And it was saying that Az's delay for me and back again was two minutes. I uh, only just heard you say you just woke up. Oh, okay. Do you want me to put text to speech on? I say text to speech, it's not me text to speech, it's just your messages on screen. <laughs> you made me say here. To be honest, I've seen a text to speech or speech to text, whatever, or um, stream. And it doesn't pick qu up quite what you're saying all the time, uh, as has it. And yeah, his is way off sometimes. <laughs> That's because it's just, I'm downloading, oh, okay. 
Yeah, that'll do it if you're downloading and yeah, got me on as well. Same as if you ain't got that good of an internet and say you're watching somebody say in a Discord chat and watching me at the same time. One or one or both will be delayed. No worries, Joe. And it's getting night time. Test, test. Test, test. Brilliant. <laughs> Much quicker. Yeah, yeah. Like I say, some, some, a lot of the time, not well normally the delay between you pressing chat and me getting it to read should be about 30 seconds same as if you're using any channel point stuff any bit stuff it's about 30 seconds maybe it may be faster but you know just look on the cog for your delay i mean earlier it was saying two minutes and three minutes between it was hard well sorry not two minutes two seconds and three seconds between, uh, for the delay minutes was like nearly four seconds earlier when twitch was having its shit fit i mean really was having a shit fit too You be count to me. Three to five seconds now. Yeah, still a bit slow. Yeah, he snuck through. If you let, when you approach a toe like that, guys, you know, one with an auto pass. If you just back off the guy about two trucks lengths and kind of slightly slow down for him as well, you can normally catch his barrier. So it's like there's no barrier for you. If you fuck up, then the barrier comes down and you whack it, but. Unless that's, unless that's three milliseconds, and I'm totally read it wrong. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. Didn't even ask you. I started at Villa, uh, Hammer's Fest, run before I went to bed. We might even pass. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Villa, really no, nah, you won't pass me. You'll go up the West Coast. You'll be going up the west coast of Italy. We're going down the east coast. We are just at Venice, about to make the turn south. And normally, we, if we were doing the uh, Taranto run now south, we'll be coming down the A22. You're back. Welcome back. Believe my eyes, the ten million fireflies. Everywhere. I'm back on the move. Uh, I do 61 to catch up. No worries. We'll see you in a TikTok. There's a couple of toes between us and you, though. And they're all over the place, the drive through ones.
Huh? You bastard. I was down under 25. Uh, Moshta. Thank you very much for the follow. I've been okay. Well, I say I've been okay. I'm as okay as I can be. Um, so I said to you the other day that I've been suffering from frozen shoulder. Um, yeah, that hasn't been pleasant. Uh, I've been getting mobility back since having this shoulder injection, um, but not quick enough to go back to work this week. Also, <laughs> the other day I woke up and my back spasmed. Um, yeah. So, my static nerve in, in my back triggered. But I'm in fucking agony now. Well, I say I'm in agony. I'm not in. I'm, it's it's irritating, but it's not painful yet. I mean, it was painful the other night. I even took fucking some coding to get rid of it. All fun and games then? Yep. Yeah. So we've managed to... Um, I was telling the other day about... Or the other month about... Um, us deciding on the new vehicle and shit like that. Um, it's all picked out, all ordered. Which is why I'm not coming to the meet-up in... On Saturday. Or on Friday, rather. Uh, because we're paying for the... Um, the extra pennies for that. But maybe llamas a possibility. I mean, we have to get Christmas out of the way, but maybe llamas a possibility. I mean, the wife won't go to llama because she's not really interested in farm farm equipment. In gamers that play farm sim, but yeah. Looking forward to Llama, my dad and little man will be coming as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's always good when the family can go around, you can chill out and walk around and stuff. I mean, I've even booked the dinner afterwards, hoping I can get there. I mean, if not, if I know I can't get there, say by, I'll know by like early December. Once I know, if I know I can't go, I'll message back um, the guys from um, Giants and just say that I can't go you just well give my ticket to somebody so I know there's limited places so I'm not going to Leave them in the lurch. Okay, so we're getting near the thing of Bologna. So we must be getting on that eastern road now. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Unusual for me to get lag on TMP, unless there's a lot of people around. The only every time I get lag on TMP is if there's a lot of people around or TMP themselves are having issues. But don't forget, guys, tomorrow at about 2 o'clock, well, I say about 2 o'clock, at 2 o'clock when I go live, um, if Kev's available, I'll be playing Snow okay, Runner. Okay, on that. Uh, safe journey, guys. Jesus. Uh, you alright, buddy? Holy fuck. You have done some better. Now we're going to Toronto, but... Ah, right, cool. 
fucking loud he was. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was a little bit over the top. I mean, in TMP, there is a mic volume uh, for the radio and stuff. And let's just show you my settings for it, uh, which is there. So there's your mic settings, guys. I turn it down about a quarter away and it tends to be perfect. I had average turn it down the other day as well because he was what we call over the CB over modulating and he took the piss out of me for saying he was over modulating. And basically it means that he's overdoing his microphone. Uh, Matt, when you get a minute, can you check BTC? Uh, chat, please, having issues with Trekkie app. Um, Trekkie app itself or Trekkie from Overwolf? Oh, Dark Star's coming down towards us now, look. Um, that purple box keeps covering my TMP. Oh, so you've got your... Oh, somebody's coming up towards us. Oh, lasting. Lasting? Dark house delivery, so he's finally gone with somebody else. Uh, no idea how to get it. Um, yeah, so basically... You've got it on vertical instead of horizontal. So you want to change it for ETS if you want it, like I've got it, and it'll pop down the bottom, and you just need the keys. I think it's O, o tab or something, and you right-click, pick it up, and put it at the top. If that's where you want it. Sent a pick in VTC chat, it was fine before but you went to bed. Now it's stuck on my screen. Okay. Um Zeno and you in chat. Somebody's pulled over in the tunnel. What a muppet. There goes my athletes of dust sticks. Dark side, you're clear of me. Thanks, buddy. Cheers, appreciate that. Yeah, no worries, dude. Safe journey. And you guys. Uh, now it's just stuck on your screen. Yeah, um, is Zeno or Avin chat or something like that up in the lounge? That's because I'm streaming, I can't really look at it at a minute. Uh, guys, I appreciate some of you may be on an ad break now. Some of you may not be. So we should just chat shit until everybody's back in the room. Same as what we normally do, to be honest. Yeah. Can't wait to the end of the month, though, guys, when um, I do like to have and get Moza. Uh, the only thing I won't be getting is the trucking wheel to go with it. I can afford that. And the reason why I couldn't afford it, it's £300 
extra. Yeah, that's a good point, Joe. Um, Borg, tag Zeno in your post. So, after your post, put the at sign in Zeno in it and press enter. That way, it, he'll see it quicker. And he might be able to sort you out before I get off stream. Hey Chucky, how you doing? Sorry you can't get through. I need your name and your number and I'll get back to you. No. <laughs> Stress but okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> You nearly caught up with us now? Yeah. I mean, you weren't very far away in the, in, in the beginning, to be fair. And, you know, it's the reason why I kind of, a lot of the time, like doing 56. Because it gives everybody a chance to catch up. I mean, I know we're doing 58 at the moment. That's because i got you, you guys behind me. And I know you guys normally do 60, 61, 62. Uh, I'm okay checking moving house at the moment. Hate fucking moving house, so stressful. And we kind of do it a weird way too. So what we normally do when we move house is we kind of leave every all the main packing till last minute and then we Pack a room, move it. Pack a room, move it. Pack a room, remove it. And the first room normally to get packed and move is the bedroom. So first kind of day, half a day, bedroom will be packed, completely gone, and reassembled the other side, so that that night that we start moving, we're at the new the new place. So whenever, so when we get the other end and go right, that's it for moving from the old place, we can unpack. The, the stuff that we've moved. Not moving house again to your rate 45 to 50. That's the fucking worst time. Don't have to worry about that for a while. <laughs> uh, first room... First room unpacked was Dad's bedroom. And the kitchen. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people do that. You know, if they, I mean, to be honest, we sometimes do that. It depends whether what's at the other house. Uh, if nothing's at the other house, then of course you're moving stuff in, you're preparing that first, and then the last day you move your bedroom stuff because then you're totally moving lock, stock, and barrel. But normally when we move, we sort everything out for everything's there at the new house, like internet and stuff like that. So when we move in, we can go in and bang bedroom. Well, four beds for two people is a bit much. Yeah, yeah. Only need a two bedroom when you're older. One for yourselves in, I don't know, a chill out room. Just in case you need to, you know, I know. Slacker fix it for you. There you go. Oh, gaming room. I have three bedrooms then. <laughs> one for your game, one for your gaming room, one for a chill out room. Thanks, Dazzle. Absolute dick. I'm trying to look through the characters to see where I'm going here. <laughs> uh, the live map was starting up, even though I wasn't even set. Uh, okay. Your, your life map was starting up. What, that one? 
I could have told you how to get rid of that one. <laughs> nah, living room is chill out room. Uh, can one of the mods give uh, Carpet Dazzle a shouty shouty, please? We didn't know it was that, though he just told me to try OL. Uh, it was just a purple box. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everybody. Hope you're all well, enjoying your Monday. Hi, dude. Um, not sure what your working schedule is, but hopefully you're home by now. Um, if not, I hope you're being as safe as you can be at your place of place of work. Chucky, can you give me a shout out, please? Work till eight. Well, at least you might miss the traffic. Thank you. Guys, go check out Carpy Dazzle. Um, we used to call him the King of Lumia. In fact, he still is. He's the one that introduced us all to it. And we, we, uh, we haven't stopped using it since. Also, he's got an awesome setup. I mean, he's integrated so many lights in his room that one day when we were playing or playing with them, he actually got physically sick. Yeah, it, it, it happens. <laughs> I mean, he had, I mean, I, I don't know whether your setup's still the same, Daz, but you had lights fucking everywhere, didn't you? You had them on the walls and ceiling and all kinds of places. Literally, when you had a flash go off, it fucking flashed. <laughs> he still does. Yeah, I know he still does. Don't get into watching much. That's, that's the thing. I do occasionally. More lights come in, just gotta sort out sort the room out. Shit. Do you know the light I've always wanted Dazzle from um Govi? I've always wanted that. I think it's a I think it's in the outdoor light section. It's that net thing that you can hang up and you can put anything you want basically anything you want on it. Kinda of fancied that. Think you might pass me? Just pulling out the gas station at Venice. Oh, we've already passed Venice, dude. I was kind of hoping the guys from Truckee would come in here. Because um, this is kind of annoying. Oh, it may actually be here, actually. Oh no, dark side's kind of pulled over. Alright, let's take the edge of the lane. He must have took a bio break because he passed us about an hour ago. Um, you're on the E55 towards Clagging for Yeah, we passed Venice ages ago, dude. We are south of uh, Pescara on the east coast of Italy. How's my day been, Chucky? It's been... I'd say started out eventful. Um, so basically I woke up, uh, did my normal routine, you know, coffee and biscuits for breakfast, jumped on the PC, saw uh, Minute wasn't live, and that was like half seven. Waited till about five two, gradually turning things on to start streaming. Still wasn't online whacked on the stream started out a little laggy thought it was me at the start as you do um music man luke come in said minute was live and i was like what the fuck but uh, never mind you know yeah you know each does his own um yeah and then music man luke come in and said he's had problems watching people on twitch all morning 
so it was just we feel it's it's just twitch being twitchy this morning um so i switched my stream off um yeah watch minute for the rest of the day the rest of his stream he kind of although twitch didn't say he was dropping frames by the looks of his stream he was um just because of twitch being twitchy which is probably why it didn't show up as dropping frames um yeah watched average went on the radio walked down the shop got some essentials get out the way you silly shit um where am i dropping to in toronto we're dropping at the marina Chucky, you know the rules. We wouldn't have them there to be used if we didn't want them there to be used. We may moan and fucking piss around and look pissed off when it happens, kind of like Avery's did earlier, um, when people were terrorising him with lights and shit. Um, but yeah, they're there to be used. Same as, I know Avery still says that I'm pissed off with that hour and 20 of no singing from a couple of months back, but that was kind of my fault not checking that twitch's cooldown things were still active uh because twitch did a kind of update on their system and it deleted them all um but you the guy you, you guys actually using them that i that was no problem you know the like i say the, the buttons are there for you guys to push them Also, guys, the community challenge, whether you fill it or not, I'm still going to do it because I miscalculated. Um, well, I say they miscalculate. I didn't miscalculate it. Basically, I was a bit ambitious of how many points you guys would have. Put it that way. So I was basing it on, and I've said this a couple of times, I was basing it on um, 20 of you every stream to be able to do the max points per day which is 2000 and that with the time allotted was the thing um but then i had to take a day off because i wasn't very well and um wouldn't he come in and reminded me that um yeah not everybody's got a couple of thousand points to spare every time um so you're a bit unfair so enough points have been put into it for me to say i will do it so this Saturday, 8, 8 o'clock a.m., I shall be starting from Kahari, which is as far east as you can get on the map, and be able to drive the furthest west you can get on the map. Um, and the far west you can get on the map now is um, Greenland, a place called Nook, N-U-U-K. And yeah, that's where I'll be going. Uh, I'm sick at 400 right now and I'm and I'm in quite a lot and I use them quite a lot yeah that's what I mean it, it was mainly for people who just sit there and watch um, and don't use their points a lot because there's a few of you I mean for instance I know average has 300,000 uh, channel points in his stream I have 120,000 channel points so we have enough in each other's streams if we did a 50,000 thing with a given enough days we could make the other person do a challenge just with our points and that's kind of why it was set so high uh, right back over right break over uh, back to stressing uh, have a great stream catch you later Chucky, chill. I know you're getting anxious about what you have to do in a couple of days, but it'll be all right. Trust me, it'll be all right. And when you're there, you'll be fine. I 
and you're off catering again, so there's no need to stress. So guys, I'm hoping this job actually puts, gets put in by Crash, who's behind me. Uh, Joe's a little bit further back. Uh, in fact, we've got a couple of black tigers that are either coming up towards us or coming down towards us. 500 meters in closing, so they're behind us. Oh, German. Hmm. I've, oh, that is, that's that Chris. Where the fuck's he been? Just like a friend. He passed us a little while back. Well, oh, two minutes to go. We'll actually have to slow down for a toll in a minute. As we enter Toronto. Uh, you're only a minute behind us. Cool. So by the time I get in, pick the job, you should be re... So guys, as a round off to today's stream, we're going to be... Yeah, we're going to be going about four hours, uh, to be honest. Because <laughs> we're going to go back up. So if you're at the marina, guys, um, you want to make your own job, uh, we're going back up to Oslo, uh, to Polaris Lines. Um, and we're just going to follow the default. So there you go, guys. We're on the outskirts of Toronto now. So this job, guys, is an hour 45 uh, doing 56. So, stream's going to be about four hours and a bit. Just hope we get a DJ on too. Pass the time away a little bit faster, you know? Shit, we smashed the trailer on that then. I know exactly where we're going now. Don't even have to look at the map. That's how often I do this run. Basically, straight straight down. Cut them all roundabouts. And then a very hard turn to the right. And then a turn left through the gate of the marina. There we go, we're on our way down to the marina now. But if Jez is there, should be able to see him there. There he is, look. Whoop, hello. That's right, just before we get in, we'll um we'll get rid of that, shall we? Hopefully that job tracked for you then, dude. Hopefully the reiteration of your save files or whatever you did did it for you. Uh, right, let's make the job. So, right click. Make a job. Destination. All's low. We're not going to Bath East. We're going to... Polaris. No, we're not going there either. I don't know where the fuck that is. We're going to Polaris Lines. No, it still doesn't work. That's a shit, mate. There we go. Brake flew at that, dude. Yeah. 
don't know what to suggest anybody. I mean, you don't want to make some miles crash, so might be worth, I don't know, whatever, redoing whatever you did with, um, who is it the other night? Uh, won't be able to do the job back up till later. Whatever, dude. If you can come part way, come part way. It doesn't matter. Got a visit in half an hour. Yeah, so just do part of it then, dude. Good mileage, this is. Good miles. Right, we'll just wait for the guys to get sorted. Yeah, so Crash, I don't know whether you want to... Crash, I don't know whether you want to log out and see if you can redo what you and Wendy were doing yesterday to put it back up. It's a real crazy show where anyone can do. But your body and your game, if you want to play the game. Uh, Dark Wolf, how you doing? Um, guys, it's Farm Boy Q. How you doing, Q? Uh, yeah, going to see if I can sort it out. Yeah, man, you don't want to waste miles, do you, bro? Uh, Climb Farmer, how you doing, dude? We got a real life trucker in the building, guys. Uh, Scalina? Scalina? I hope that I said it right. Yeah, it's broken again, Wendy. I think he's going to need your help, dude. Uh, how's that? I'm good, dude. How are you? Right, let's see if we can get a couple of shouts going. Uh, for Q and Klein. Uh, the sea is silent. I try to remember that, dude. Try to remember that. So it's Selena. Is that what you're trying to say? So there's Q's. Uh, Dark Wolf, thank you very much for your follow, my dude. Welcome to the fun house. How are we doing? Uh, Titch, the lady in the house. How are you doing, Titch? So we're going to give a shout out to Climb, one up if I can find him on my fucking button. Button box, my box of many buttons. Klein, you're not on there yet. <laughs> um, okay. I believe everybody's ready. I'm good, Q. How are you? I know what you were doing. You were farming. Of course you were farming. You're farming on the on the highest modded fucking farm I've ever seen in my life. And all his own mods, guys. Although thank you. <laughs> Although he doesn't put them forward to giants to be put in mod hub. So guys, we're heading back up. I know it says two hours fifteen, but it's not, it's an hour forty-five. I've got with me Joe in it. Uh, I'm good, and for now, um, I'm going to lurk. Need to get my ass in the pool. That's nice. It's 25 degrees, 94, 98, 89 humidity, so need to cool off. No worries, dude. You go do you. 
and Wolf, thank you for the disco lights and the disco light. Uh, by the way, I've tried to get that big GPS mod, uh, but none worked. Um, it depends whether the mod says you have to have left-hand drive, right-hand drive, um, and stuff like that. Because you might be driving UK side, and it might mean that you have to have European side. It's, it's a bit touchy like that. If the picture shows it with the steering wheel this side of the truck that I'm on now, then you have to have that. If the picture shows it UK side of the truck, then if you're UK side, then that's fine. Oh, Joe, I'm going to be doing 60 on this trip. It's nice and easy at 60, this one. I mean, if Atriana's still around, watch how much I don't take my foot off the throttle. Or, sorry, take my foot off cruise control. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing, this one. Literally, take yourself down to Taranto, which is on the heel of uh, Italy. Set destination for Oslo. And literally don't touch a fucking thing your map which engines are you using just stand your scan your engine dude 730 or whatever it is for the r series uh 12 plus 2 box which i'm running in 13th for right now but it doesn't matter i'm maxed out um the only thing i'm really running as a mod is big gps I'm running a modded interior, which has this inner glow, uh, so it's not so dark for you guys. And also, I've save edited the fuel tanks. That's it. I know of people who have save edited the engines to a thousand horsepower or more. That's too OP. It really is OP. I mean, the Scania 730 is OP. I mean, literally, you have to have the train on board to slow it down up a hill. It's it's that OP. And guys, we are just a simulator radio. Unfortunately, there's no presenter on at the moment. And everything that you give, like it says, so if you pop the simulatorradio.com, um, yeah, everything that you give just goes towards paying the bills for a live radio station. Ultra Major Fizzy, how you doing, bro? Guys, Ultra Major Fizzy, he's another part of the SOAG team. Uh, go give him a follow, click on his name, click the heart. And uh, yeah, been doing a lot of 5M, um, I don't know, what you would, what would you call it? M moderations? And when I say moderations, they're building their own server. So, uh, yeah, he's doing a lot. Which is why he's not been around lately. So basically, they're putting a server together, they're putting bits in it, taking bits out, trying it out, doing this, doing that, trying it out. Uh, and then one day when they're happy with it, they're going to go, right, here's our server, guys. Come see what it's like. It's clever stuff. I think your brother's in here lurking, mate, but he, he, I think he's too busy to give you a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like about this fucking the bar raiders that thing for shout outs. It just takes so fucking long for names to come up. Uh, there you are. There you go, guys. There's the link for Ultra Major Fizzy. Go and give him a follow. Go show the love. And like I say, he does a lot of 5M shit at the moment. There's a service up for people to join. All sorted. A few little bits that need to go in. Uh, but not priority. Sweet. Trouble is, I used to love 5M. Um, in the service that I was in, I always played a legit businessman, which takes time to build up your character. 
But while you're building him up, you get a chance to go around, meet a lot of people, and they soon know you're legit. And like, so the crims kind of leave you alone. Um, all the gangs kind of leave you alone. Because at some point, what I tend to do is I work for the delivery guys, and then at some point, I want to take that business over. Um, so, what are the what you kind of do is some of the deliveries that you do are to their gang houses so yeah they want to stay friends with you you want to stay friends with them and kind of just have fun with it i mean on the server that we were in i mean there was there was a few of us in that are in the soags actually there was me tav i think bly was in there um there was a few other people in the server with us before bly and tab moved over to another server um yeah and basically i i worked for the, the delivery company not earning a terrible amount um i met up with uh mark armstrong's character because he used to be in the server as well um he basically made me a deal with an iro time to pay it back to say that he would fund me the money to take the delivery business over that's why i agreed and made the money kind of not legitly and was put in jail for 30 days in game for dealing weed <laughs> but yeah um then i had another go at it and actually did quite well when i say I, I did quite well i paid mark back or mark's character back within uh i think three days he said could afford it and i went yeah 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 it's no problem i, I don't like to owe people um and i had enough left over to change all the vans and stuff um the only thing they didn't have in the game was um when you did truck deliveries and they, the truck deliveries were only around the port area you couldn't pick another truck it was just a set truck set trailer and that was, that was the end of it uh the only thing that you could do was you could change the vans and the liveries so i changed the vans and had the same livery on it and had some decent vans uh i employed um I employed Bly, I employed Tav, I think I employed one of the other guys as well, until they went off doing criminal activities. But yeah, and that's how me and Tav met. I, I employed him through Fire Then. But you got to do this, you know, to be successful in Fire Then, you got to be active. And when I say you got to be active, at least four hours a day. For about two to three hours a week, two to three days a week, to be somewhat successful. Um, Trucking J, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the fun house, buddy. Uh, good evening, as it is evening now in the UK. Oh, I send me Rafe. Got oh, that one anyway. Good afternoon, dude. How are you doing? Matthews must have went off for a fucking break. Because he's still parked in the same spot. I shall probably take a break on the way up, guys. I can tell you that for nothing. Give me an hour into this trip and I shall want to take a break. Uh, you're well? Good, good. Glad to hear it, dude. So, Tratriana, this, jo this job is just... Put your foot down and go. It's outrageous! It's a real crazy show where anything can go. Nick, how you doing? And there he is. Guys, of course, Reese from the radio or Nightmare Gaming TTV gets his own very, very own shout out um, when he walks in. Because he's top banana. Now, are you slowing down or have you just stopped? I think this guy in front's just stopped. Coming out, Joe.
I don't take any chances with them fuckers. I really don't. The prick's just pulled over for some reason. I say prick, he might not be a prick, but... The guy's just pulled over for no apparent... Well, I, there may be a reason. He might go to the toilet. May have problems with something or other. You know, the normal. I uh, hate to raid and run, but very tired. You know where he's dude? You've been... Um, you're, you're daytime working now, aren't you? So he had to get up at about 5 o'clock this morning, guys. Out the door by 7. You're... You, you, you fly off, dude. We have a blue dot entering the motorway in front of us. I think he's going away from us now. Much love. Bye. Guys, there he goes. Nightmare Gaming TTV. And when he's on simulator radio, of course, he's Reese from the radio. And yeah, you guys may have missed it, but the other week he actually did a show. And it was good to have him back. Give it another, I don't know, two hours in game, it'll start getting light. Okay, hang it on. Didn't want to do that though. Fuck it, let's press it again. Didn't understand what he was saying anyway. I'm not sure whether the next dr next uh, tow is a slowdown drive-through, or it's the first one with no barriers. Could be the first one, no barriers. I think we're actually catching this guy in front. And guys, the link in chat is to my YouTube channel. Any VOD that reaches 100 offline views, it goes to my YouTube channel. If you can click the link, go and watch the VOD. At least for a minute, give it a thumbs up. Talk in the chat, even if it's only emoji. Everything that you do over there really does make a difference. Uh, right, gonna lurk. Ward walk. Yeah, no worries, dude. No problem, Dazzle. Hmm, interesting. This guy in front's got a fucking caravan. Hate people with caravans. They're normally dicks. S Express VTC Predator 2.0. Hmm. We're actually catching him too. Yeah, we've got quite a long ways to go. For the next turn. When we get a little closer, guys, we'll um, we'll pull out. Make sure he doesn't lag into us, or we don't lag into him. In TMP, guys, it's better to be safe than sorry. Don't take any chances whatsoever. I mean, look, he's, uh, he's all, all the way over the lane. So we're going to have to really watch what we're doing. I mean, hopefully he'll stay in, in that lane. In, in the hard shoulder. Which is what I would do if somebody's passing me. I stay in the hard shoulder. Dude, watch what you're doing. You've got fucking vehicles up your ass.
You even touch me and I'm reporting you, you bitch. Harsh, I know, but... Oh, he stopped. Yay! He probably did. He's in a van, so he's probably... I don't know how stable those vans are, but... I know the cars are fucking useless. Once you get above a certain speed. Uh, we'll get proper time for delivery once we take the boat uh, over into Denmark. It's a very short boat. I mean, literally, off of the t off of the mileage on the top, it would literally be 50 miles short of that. Not a lot. No worries, bro. I'll drop the 50 60, catch back up, dude. Okay. I know he can keep 60, 61, 62 all the way. I mean, literally, all the junctions northbound are fucking awesome. You can just fly around them. As long as you ain't got, like, massive weight on. Which I don't. I've only got three ton. So we were below 59,000, weren't we? We were about 59,500. So, yeah, we've done about 2,000-ish miles. We'll be nearing 4,000 by the time we get off in a minute. Um, have you taken the... Orson Bridge between Denmark and Sweden in the game. Is that that one where you go through the tunnel and then over the suspension bridge? Uh, if that's the one, then yes, many times. Men we'll go over it. We'll go, we'll go over it in a minute. Well, not in a minute. You know, in fifty minutes, we'll be up there. And that's IRO fifty minutes. We're just getting to the top of. Um, the top of Italy. We'll blip into Austria for like a minute and then Germany. Okay, back on the road. Do 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 do. do. Yeah, I think uh, he's on about the bridge by Odense. Oh, the bridge by Odense. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're not going that way this time. That's a, that's kind of a small bridge, that one. We sometimes do that work route. Um, driving around it adds about four hundred mile, and time wise adds about twenty minutes. I mean, basically, it takes you up through Germany a slightly different route. I still think this way's faster if you're going up and back, though. I mean, obviously, not so many miles, but if you're struck for time, then, you know, this is just over three hours up and back. Back slightly further. Because you've got a lot of junctions where you've got to loop the loop. Well, about three junctions you've got to loop the loop on. Let's rock the road. Normally world leaders, they are. Okay, it read him. He's actually on our server. And he's parked up on the other side. So, yeah, didn't really need to um, be shown. I think here he is. Just over here. Yep, that's him. That didn't really need to be shown. Yeah, because long 50 mile an hour in Hamburg. Mm hmm.
So we're up near uh, Bologna. And like I said, when we came down the map a minute ago, we came down through that, it, well, they're not the toll gate, but we came down through that junction that where we're kind of T-junctioning with now. Um, and we're going across towards Ikea and up. But again, quick junction. It is a very quick junction. We'll be soon back up to 60, guys, as soon as Joe catches us back up. It'll only be a couple of minutes and he'll be back up behind me. I swear he's doing 61. But yeah, guys, has anybody seen the vid from Vitonomy today? I mean, he's calling it a VT, uh, he's calling it a DOC. But what he's talking about, I think, is just going to be an update. Doing 60? Yeah, don't worry, seen a better minute or two. Yeah, what he's talking about, I think, could go in, in an update. I could be wrong. So, yeah, so if you missed it, or if you haven't seen it yet, it's basically what he talks about is uh, an updated shader pack uh, coming into the game, an, upga uh, an upgraded weather system coming into the game. Um... The first picture he shows of is a rigid truck. That's the uh, unknown for me. Um, if that's coming into the game, yay! If it doesn't, I'll be a little bit un unhappy. Well, but if it's coming in the game, bank fucking time. We've had mods for it for ages. I mean, literally, I, ta I talked about this earlier. Um, Streaming, it's a, an S way truck. It's a rigid. The one, the one in the, the one in that he talks about in today's stream is a rigid, whether it be the S way or not. It's a S way rigid or not. It's an, it's a rigid. Um, the S way Arctic, I know, is going to be a little while. They've only just scanned it. When I say only just scanned it, I think it's been what three weeks since they scanned it. So it's going to be a couple of months or so for the if they rush it through and that's if they put it in game good send it over to Iveco they approve send it back and say yes go that's going to be a good couple of months couple of three six months before we even get that the brand new Iveco S way um, trucks that are coming pretty soon um, is the Mercedes that apparently is coming pretty soon. Uh, we all had the mod to that about two years ago. Um, but yeah, that's coming pretty soon. And the 2021 FH Volvo. Not with the uprated engine, though. When I say uprated engine, Volvo's already have a 750 engine. And this one coming has a 750. Uh, there is a new engine coming to the game, apparently. Don't know when, which is going to be 780. Um, yeah, when we get that, I don't know. Uh, looking forward to the new Volvo. To be honest, I'm looking forward to the new Mercedes. And that will become my daily driver. Because that thing is fucking beautiful. I mean, as trucks go, that thing is beautiful. I mean, it's electric dash. Um, you're a Volvo fanboy. Okay. It's got an electric dash. Um, it's already got like, quite a big sat nav, although I'd like it a little bigger um, to be able to run no in-game sat nav. And then it'd be perfect. So yeah, two new trucks coming very, very soon. And like I say, if this update apparently tomorrow um, has the rigid in it, then fucking GG's SCS and about time.
Now, people will know from a few months back, um, FCS don't exactly like me. Uh, my flight route to uh, Czech Republic, Bergen, Oslo, 24. Ooh. Real flight or um, flight sim? Doesn't answer my question. IRL or game? IRL. Hmm. Move like a freak, Mr. Sexo B. Yeah, I don't like those internal flights or shuttle flights. Fucking hate them. Little tiny plane, if there's any fucking turbulence, you're all over the fucking place. It's horrible. Taking a selfie outside of SES software's offices. Sweet. Eric, did you, did you just go there for the pictures or you actually need something to do with SCS? Or can you not say? You may have just ring a ding on the door, but okay. <laughs> you just went there to take pictures then. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people are going to say this drive that you're doing today, Matt, is kind of boring. No boring as any other drive I normally do. Um, you take it. I do ATS drives that are longer than this. I mean, literally, it's cruise control all the way. All I got to do is steer. Let's get windy in a minute, though. Mr. Sex of B. Uh, did you know there is a lane keeping assist? Yes, I have one fitted to the car. Well, I haven't had one fitted to the car, it came as standard, but you know. Yes, I have in the car that we have at the moment, I have lane assist, which keeps me in lane. And um, adaptive cruise control, which keeps me a certain distance from the vehicle in front. So really, once I'm on the motorway, I don't need to be there. <laughs> I mean, I still need to be there every 90 seconds and move the steering wheel, kind of love that, and that's it. <laughs> Uh, is your truck as well? Um, I believe there is some sort of system like that, but I don't use it. You have none of them in your car, sadly? Yeah, only ca really came into the last oh, six or eight years of cars. So if you've got an older car than that, you probably won't have it. Or if you've got maybe a lower model in the range you probably won't have it 2014 yeah so it's 10 year old so just before shit like that came in the thing you 
you actually on this thing? No, you're not on this server, are you? You get warm with the FIFA on the dance floor. Zip to the light. We're gonna bath inside. More to the light. Everybody wants to stay alive. I know it's the original that's being played, and I'm playing the I'm singing the clock version. <laughs> guys, you guys are amazing. Fifty of you in, fucking amazing. If I had something to give right now, I'd give it. And I don't, so don't ask. I gave everything away yesterday that I had. Uh, just went from Tarzan to fully clothed. <laughs> Did you just do a Jim Carrey when you're in... Um, what fucking program, what film am I thinking of? Bruce Almighty. Uh, we got you, mate. That's good enough. Yeah, yeah. Is indeedy. I love that film, Bruce Almighty. Funny as fuck. Although, although, in my opinion, one of his funniest films is actually supposed to be one of his serious films. I mean, it was a comedy because it, it was a... He's a slizzer or a lawyer. So it's supposed to be semi-serious. But... Yeah, Liar Liar is fucking funny as fuck. I laugh my tits off at that all the time. And even funnier when you watch the bloopers afterwards. I kill myself all the time watching the bloopers of Liar Liar. If you've never if you've never watched the bloopers of the film afterwards, if you've ever watched it on DVD or so of Liar Liar, go back and just flip to the bloopers and watch that and watch them. Some of the things that didn't make it in that film are funny as fuck. Joe would have caught me by now. I mean, he's only four go four miles faster than me, but you know, he should have caught me by now. Yeah, I'm going nowhere. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Yeah. Oh. You're not that far behind me now. Cool, dude. We're going to have company again. Don't forget, guys, a um, little while ago, I was drinking Rafe, exclamation Rafe in chat to get your 10% off with my code. It's a sugar-free energy drink, guys, but if you're diabetic, please watch the hidden sugar content because, uh, of course, they've got to make it sweet somehow. Right, this is the last slow down toe. That's the last slow down toe, guys. All the rest of the trolls are all drive through. We got one tricky kind of tow area in a minute. When I say tricky kind of tow in an area, it looks like they've kind of took the tow away and there's roadworks there. And it makes it very, very narrow. It's horrible. It's the only tricky place there is. But this tow, it says to go that way. You don't need to fucking straight through. Like I say that that one, look, that one's been taken away.
And it's becoming daytime as well. Yay! So I'm boogieing to the music while there's nobody on the road. Uh, what's that? Just come through that first toll. Right then, guys, this one is a drive through, uh, far right, no barrier. Right the way over. No. If he's close enough, guys, we might see him when we do the U-turn. As Jethro would say, can you make a U-turn? If I had have said it well, he's like, make his bloody eyes water. I know, it's an old one, but a goodie. And all you piss-taking cunts, I don't know from experience. So fuck you all. <laughs> Coming up to Innsbruck, one of uh, quite a bloody battle, I think, during the Second World War. So you not only get a uh, get a nice drive and a stupid attitude. Uh, I mean, you get a, you get to learn shit. If you remember what I'm trying to say, if I can remember what I'm trying to say, yeah. Also, the prettiest town on earth. I'd recommend visiting. Yeah, never actually been. Um, to be honest, when I was in Germany for six weeks, um, we only basically went around the like little area, about 30 miles in each direction, exploring. Um, we were living in a little village just outside of Bunda. You know where that is? Uh, yeah, we were living in a little village outside there um, and working just down the road. Um, I went over as a labourer and they didn't want labourers at the time so the guy went yeah he knows what he's doing don't worry yeah luckily the guys the English guys that were on site taught me everything I knew about tying steel um, yeah so we were building um, ballerina kuchen so um, yeah ballerina kitchens and every weekend we go around the place and just have a look around. Uh, so we went to Hamlin. That was fucking beautiful, Hamlin. Um, lots of oldie worldy houses. Um, you could imagine, you know, you know the story, the, the the fairy tale. You know, guy coming down the street with his flute with all the rats. You could you could imagine that happening when you're there. It's, it was that sort of nostalgic. Um, we went to a place called Kaiser Bill. You know Kaiser Bill. So Kaiserville, if you haven't been there, basically it's a, I don't know, kind of a big hill, mountain, um, with a statue on top of it of a German king. Um, yeah, and you go up, you park up, and we basically walked from one end of the top of this thing to the other end. And at the other end of this hill, we'll call it hill, um, there was a bar. So we stopped for a drink. And it was my turn to pay. And it was also the dearest beer we've paid for the whole six weeks. I mean, this will show you how far it was ago or how long it was ago. <laughs> Germany was still using marks for its monetary value. And it was five marks for a half litre drink. For a beer. And it was good beer, but five marks... We're only paying two marks in, in, in the bar in our village. <laughs> yeah, five marks. And while we were there, some guy fucking got out his fucking hand glider and just went wee off the fucking top. It's like, what the fuck? 
yeah great place absolutely great place we loved it also made the biggest mistake i've ever made in my life there mm -hmm. i went out drinking with the irish i say irish there was six irish one scottish guy there and yeah worst mistake of my fucking life i was 16 at the time Mm -hmm. I went out on the piss with them, got fucking wrecked. Those guys can put beer away like there's no fucking tomorrow. The Scots can drink, the fucking Irish can drink just as good, mate. Maybe better. And at the prices that the local bar was, or the local bars in the area was, yeah. Oh, this is the this is the thing that I think's a uh, a tow booth or something that's been taken away. So this lane that we're about to stay in is fucking tight as fuck when we get around this corner. We have to literally glue to this wall. There we go. We're in the lane. Uh. Yeah, that's always up in the middle. There we go, we're through. Okay, we're in Germany, guys, which means no tow booths. Until we get to the boat. Our next stopping point is the boat. So I can chill now. So about 40 minutes IRL, we'll be at the boat. So we got an accident, 600 meters. Um, yeah, not on this, not on this server. Otherwise, they'd be on here. Because TMP tracking on here is about a thousand meters. I mean, at about a thousand meters, they will come and go on your thing. But yeah, they won't become a, a permanent thing until they're 600 meters in or closing or such. So you watch this junction. Don't even slow down. And Joe will be able to do 60 round this corner. It's that easy. There you go, he's 300 metres away. So he's probably just about to come around that corner. That's me beeping. There he is, look, he's on the map coming behind me. All right, gonna race to 58 because you're closing in. Yeah, exactly ah, there we go. When he gets to about 100 meters, guys, I'll race to 60, and then obviously when he when he closes in, you can whack it down again. Darkness 44. There's a load of darknesses on here, aren't there? Those are nice, easy junctions that are coming, going up. If you're going to do nice, easy miles, this is certainly the way to come, guys. Like I say, it calculates for your VTC 1,750 mile-ish. And all you've got to do is set your sat-nav uh, from Taranto, uh, the marina, up to uh, Polaris Lines at Oslo. Um, IRO time takes about an hour 45. Roughly. I can't wait to get off. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. There's Joe. I can just see him on the sat nav now. We still got about, I don't know, just under an hour to go in total. The boat will take about 20-ish minutes off, 20, 30 minutes off. And like I say, to me, this is the most efficient way to do long miles fast. Going up. Going back, yeah, go viral dense. Um, 
purely because of all the fucking stupid junctions. Uh, on the way back on this one. Right, raising the 60. Because you're nearly on my ass again. And guys, you guys have been very well behaved today. Um, so don't nobody do it now because they won't count because it's my last job of the day. Um, where are you? Yeah, you're not even on this server either. So what we've got for you on the channel nowadays, guys, is all well, the next job, although I'm not doing the next job, so don't do it, is you can do stuff like um, maybe use an OP truck. Or you can make me take a heavy weight. You see the icons appearing and disappearing on the bottom of the screen? Or you can have me use a low power truck. I take the Iveco as a um, one of the lowest engines you can get in the game. 325 horsepower. That's why it's there. Um, you can have me do small roads. Not that small. <laughs> or 50-50 weather. Um, one thing I was going to do with this little mall icon is I was going to put on the cloud like 50-50. But I couldn't bother. So don't let nobody do those now. But yeah, I was going to do them. Also, guys, one thing I haven't done in the last three hours that I've been live is to tell you about the BTC that I'm in. And I'll do that very easily by doing this in chat and this as a video. guys you may uh, know that face on the end of that one that was minute or nine gaming thanks very much for a minute for sharing that one with me and yeah i think most of that was recorded by it's mel part of beaver so thank you very much guys for uh videoing it and um minute for constructing that one So we're coming off left again. I don't know whether this guy in front's going up to Oslo or not, but we're catching him at a slight rate of knots, so he's only doing about 56, 58, because uh, we are closing in. And there's Joe just coming up behind me. 60 is max for me. It's all I will do. I will not go faster. You're too close to... 62 and going over 62 so max speed in total for me is 60 and to be honest i'll only really do 60 if there's somebody behind me that um is safe doing 60 as well like joe crash um atriana is now comfortable doing 60 
and on a road like this I'd be comfortable with her following me as well without any without her making any mistakes on where she's going or such vehicle roadside 400 meters is that on this server no because otherwise he'd be on the thing It says this is from Footloose. I forget which part of the film this is on. Oh, I think I know which part of the film this is on. Is this the part where Kevin Bacon goes to the factory and starts dancing around the factory? No, it's not. It's when he gets towed off, isn't it? And he fucks off in his car. And they're sort of flashing through clips of shit. <laughs> then what we'll do, guys, is we'll get up to the boat and I should take a quick bio break and then it's about 20 minutes from there to um, the end. 20, 30 minutes from there to the end. But you guys have been awesome tonight. So many lovely people in. That merch store might change at some point. Because they don't allow the glitch sign. Well, I'm not sure whether it's the sign or whether it's the word glitch. Apparently it's too, too close to bitch. I know, it's nowhere fucking near, is it really? But they don't like it, even though, even though, <clears throat> if you have one of the other designs and you have the glitch logo, you can add it in and they'll do it. I know, I've got it on a hat. So I've got my old logo of the driving devil and the glitch logo on a baseball cap well it's called a trucker's hat really it's just, it's um yeah it's basically a baseball cap at the front and kind of knitting on the back so that um yeah when you're stuck in a truck all day your head can breathe Meyer, another roadside vehicle. That's the same dude as before. And uh, yeah, he's not on her. Which probably means he's just binned it again. I don't know if somebody can bin it that many times on a fucking motorway. If you guys are going to do anything, don't do it when I'm passing this geezer up in front. If I even touch him, he'll report me and I'll be gone. That, that's not an invitation for you fuckers to do it, either. I'm 
Where the hell are we anyway? Oh, we're not even Berlin. Oh, there's Joe. Pona Bargalis. Hi, how you doing? Thanks for your first time chat. I know one no scrub, scrub is a planet, ain't nobody like me. This side, this fin side, trying to get it sounded at me. Hey, I'm new on this game, but I don't know which one to buy. Um, so, have you already got ETS or are you talking ATS? Um, basically, the difference between them is it's exactly the same game. One is set in the US, one is set in Europe. So one is set with European trucks, one is set with American trucks on American roads. Depends how you like driving. I can't tell you that Euro Truck's the best game. I can't tell you that American Truck's the best game for you. Only you know that. I can tell you now, I like both. Uh, Euro, but there is... Uh, on seeing many many something yeah so basically you have DLC choices um, and all you really want to begin with is map DLCs so if you've already bought the base game of Euro Truck all you really want next is the map DLCs um, cheapest place to get them is stuff like CD keys or something like that um, or if Steam is having a sell, if Steam is having a sell, it's the cheapest place to get them. You will find nowhere cheaper if Steam is having a sell. But if not, look for CD keys in uh, G2, G2A.com and places like that, where you'll buy it from them. They'll give you a Steam code it's all licensed and everything so won't be taken back you just enter the code into your steam redeem and it's yours that easy um how cheap is can i buy to play um so i think the game at the moment is about 16.99 i think and when the steam cell is on i think it goes down about four pound and that's just for base game so it depends if you're in a hurry to play it or not to be fair Shit, we're coming off. Yeah. Dude, would you mind breaking? I need this inside lane. Good trip, my friend. Thank you. He 
knew I had him, I was going to pass him if, but, you know, sooner rather than later. And I think he said I was clear anyway. Uh, so 20 euros, but also there is a three euros something and I don't understand um, if I buy with three if I can and not play so there will be a Euro Trek Simulator 2 base game thing on Steam um, then like I say the first things you will want to buy is map DOCs um so yeah is there anybody in chat not doing anything find out what the price is for base game is at the moment for this chappy Two minutes, thanks Kev. It's normally about 16 quid when it's not on sale. Which, two, 20 euros would seem about right. There you go. So, from the UK, the base game for Euro Trek Simulator 2 is, um, yes, yeah, £17, just say, so, rounded up. So, yeah, 20 euros would seem about right for base game. So I would say the three euro one is kind of like a tire DOC or something like that. Or maybe a paint DOC. So don't buy that. Because otherwise all you're doing is buying a paint job for a truck. <laughs> Which won't do you any fucking good at all. Uh, 16.99 on CD keys. So it's probably best to buy it on Steam in a minute. Yeah, it's a penny cheaper. <laughs> Uh, boat's not very far away guys like I say when we get the other side I'm going to take a very very fast bio break and then we'll crack on all the way up to Oslo then basically what I'll do is I'll just stay on the boat so I'm in a non-collision area um, you're as cold as ice Willing to sacrifice our love. Uh, Gorilla Man Gamer, how you doing? Good evening. You're willing. Uh, yeah, about 20 euros, but um, what I get for that, you get base game. So you get what the game starts with. No, 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 not at all. I mean, you ask questions, you, you know, you, you get, you know, as simple an answer as I can give you, you will get base game maps. Um, so you will get enough to get you started on driving a truck, getting used to driving the truck. And then when you can afford it, you expand out the map DLCs. And like I say, it depends whether you like driving Euro trucks or American trucks, depending which game you buy. You're good. Well done. Oh, it's just one of our guys coming the other way. No, just thought it was one of our guys. Saw a green truck. It's always nice when you see one of our guys coming the other way. 
don't happen that often because of course when uh, when our guys go up and down they know we're normally together if we're going up and down uh but it will be one country on euro uh or bigger map um anybody know what map space game is i know you can buy la france which is a more detailed bit of france uh and spain and such but what countries are in base i forget it's been so long ago since i had since i had base to play i know with american truck you get california as base thanks joe so yeah uk germany holland and part of france so it's quite a big area and because you 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 start on a low level you have to build up your experience of your character to get longer jobs so you'll start off with maybe only being able to do 100 miles uh but the more experienced your guy is the better he will be um when i come back for a mile break from my bio break after we cross the ferry i'll show you the skill tree for your driver uh and that'll explain things a bit better for you um so yeah we're just coming up to the boat now so it'll be about five or six minutes and i'll be able to show you that Hey Brax, how you doing buddy? <laughs> Guys, Brax682, he's a good buddy. Uh, and yeah, there's his link, go check him out. Uh, just lately, he's been playing a lot of uh, Once Human and Euro Truck. Normally really early in the morning. be a second look don't leave me one more chance we've got to go back i'll also let you into a little secret of how to build your character up as well uh just don't do what i done and remove a mod uh and mess your profile up and you'll have to start over again yeah that's that's the thing <laughs> Welcome back, Daz. So we're just coming up to the port of Rostock, guys. When we go over the boat, like I say, I'm going to take a quick bio. And yeah, we'll um, explain to the uh, the new guy all about skill trees. There's the boat just over there. We gotta take a little wiggle wiggle round through the toes and security areas and yeah, all that sort of shit. Uh, on demo version, um, it looks so bad, but on your stream, it looks so great. This is pro mods, it looks a lot better. But to get pro mods, you need all the map packs. Pro mods add stuff to their game and it looks fucking awesome. I mean, for instance, on base game, if you were to come to this port, you would just go to a, a thing outside the fort and that would be you uh, done. You know, you just press it on the boat and gone. You wouldn't drive on the boat. Plus the interior of my truck is modded as well, so you know, don't expect this good and this nice interior. I made a few.
Also, I gotta remember where the fucking skill tree is because all the interface has changed. <laughs> right, okay, guys, let's get over the other side. We're going to Gedsteer or Gitchier, not Trailsburg. Right, we'll turn her off because now we're in an, uh, a non collision area. I'm just going to take a quick bio break and then we shall get do the thingy bob and get in the way again. Uh, see you in two minutes. Yeah, five seconds. Yeah, yeah. uh, sorry. Hello. <laughs> Can't even see on the road. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, good. <laughs> I told you about muffed and Ivan and your girlfriend. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Right, Holy shit. How many was that that went through? Whoa, hello. Lampard, five minutes. And Xeno, five minutes. Alexa, add ten minutes to timer. Thank you, you bad bunch of bastards. And you made me crash. <laughs> Just makes me feel all sensual. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ma'am. Yes. You may want to tell get somebody to get ready on the clip button. Somebody get ready on the clip button. Thank you, mate. You were right. That worked perfectly. Yes. <laughs> clip it. I don't think it did it. No, I don't think it did either. Because I, it's not, it's not set it down there, and it's not activated it over there. I don't know why. But like I say, it did the other day. Well, at least I know. Yeah, yeah. Why did I... What, I hold the line caller. Maybe if I do it this way. 10-4, rubber ducky. I'm gone. Wow. <laughs> How long have you been saving that one up for? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Yay, you got the new man! Any good? No? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, yeah, this is the skill tree. Shall we get in it again? I'll start the chat all over again. <laughs> now that I'm unmuted. So yeah, you'll find it in your career section. In the skills, click into that. Um, yeah. Then you will get to this bear bar thing, picture. Um, yeah, and as you can see, all mine are filled in. So what I suggest you do when you go into here, if you've never done seen this before, is long distance for three. High value cargo for three, fragile cargo for three, then put three on this one and then start again. Three, 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 three. And then do these in any order you like, because, yeah, they don't really matter. Well, they do matter, but they don't really matter. Um, and your, all your drivers, if you're going to build up a company, are going to do exactly the same thing. They will have that tree as well. So if I go to my driver section, so manage drivers. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't have drivers, but if I had any, they'd be listed and they'd have 
the exact same skill tree as me and you just go and go you want to do them balanced or you want to concentrate on this or that or the other what i normally do is if they're low quality um i normally put them on distance first so they fill the distance bar first um yeah so that's the end of that and another strategy i also do if i'm playing single player quite a lot of time only is i will um not buy myself a truck for a long time when i say a long time i mean at least till i get at least four garages 20 drivers or 15 drivers and then i will buy myself a truck i'll save up and buy myself a truck that way when you do get yourself a truck they're earning just as much as you are and Who's this guy? Yeah, they're, they're earning just as much as you are, and in effect, they're going to pay for all your repairs. I've had drivers, I've deleted drivers, and now that I've got um, kind of mod, anytime I need money, I just mod it in. And basically, I don't... I, really don't use money for that much repairing the vehicle and to be honest on tmp i don't really repair the vehicle through the through the garages anymore i just wait till i've got a job and yeah why force uh, why force ass fix is your friend you know Uh, okay, I'm watching Mad Max stream. You are indeed, dude. You are indeed. I saw you in here a minute ago. And you spoke too, so GG's, dude. Thank you. Uh, what can you do if you don't have a truck? You can do quick jobs. So basically, you do quick jobs and in effect you're working for somebody else so everything that you do fuel all the ferries um i think everything bar fines is paid by the guy you work for and you earn exactly what it says it's got what it says it's going to be bar damage so that's why i say you just do quick job quick job quick job quick job build your character up build your company up and then when you can finally afford to run your truck without going back into the red then you buy your truck which i sort of go four garages full of drivers so 20 drivers one garage for you and you'll be golden and just buy them the shittiest truck on the planet one thing i will say is you don't need to do that anymore and the reason being is, uh, what was it, three updates ago, they put in a second-hand truck buying place. Use that. And I recommend that you buy anything above three stars. If you buy a one-star truck, I guarantee you, the guy will do one job with it and go, it's fucked. And then you'll have to do it again. So yeah, buy three-star trucks, and then it'll last three, four, five jobs. And then slowly, 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 you give them better trucks, better trucks, better trucks until you're almost buying them a brand new truck. And then the truck. Will, oh, shit. That's why I'm coming back off. I wasn't paying attention. No, mind. extra half a mile. It's this one I'm coming off at. <laughs> oh, jeez yeah so basically yeah you you're just working for somebody else until you can afford to actually i don't know kind of take control of your own company by having your own truck uh so the first say i've restarted a couple of times and the first time i did it myself properly um when i started from well i just started from scratch to be honest not very long ago on my single player character he's now up to owning his own truck and it took me ages. I've still only got like a million in the bank with that character too. 
and the truck I bought was modded. When I say modded, it was a mod. Um, so I bought from the, not even from the second hand store, I bought straight from Scania actually, the Scania 4 Series T Cab, which is a modding game on my single player. So on my single player, I basically try and use as less mods as I can. So I use all the pro mod stuff because I like the big map. Um, I use the trailer package, even though I don't really use that much of it. Um, I use better lights or bright lights or whatever the mod's called. Um, the Scania 4 Series TNT, 4 Series T cab, which is a very old mod now. I'm surprised it still works, but it does. And it works great. Um, and a couple of other mods. And it's mainly like, you know, stuff to make your life easy mods. But nothing too over the top. And yeah, I was only on my single player doing a job the other day and it's fantastic. I love driving that truck. And like I say, in a couple of days time, I'm actually going to show you guys um, my single player guy because I just love driving that truck. You know, my, my ECAB 4 series is a brilliant truck. I mean, it's not got the mod cons of this one. You know, the big sat nav, the, the nice dash, it ain't got any of that. In fact, it ain't got sat nav for one, so I use the in-game sat nav. So we're coming up to a tow, guys. It's far right, no barrier. Uh, if, uh, yes, mate. Yeah, it's not been updated for ages. Still works beautifully, Vox. You know, that RGO mod, just it's just, I don't know, it's lasted the test of time, really has. It's just been updated, has it? Might have to go looking for that, dude. Uh, I'm looking on Google Map areas, S, Google Map areas of uh, SCS software surroundings, a park that I will sit, uh, and then just... Uh, uh, digging the link out for me. Thanks, Vox. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, I love that truck. Does that mean I'd have to rebuy it, Vox? Or will it see that I've already got it and bought? So I've only got like a million. Mind you, it's enough to rebuy it. It only costs like 400,000 to buy it and upgrade it. I'd soon make that back. Not sure that one. <laughs> There's a lot of people on this road making this road a little laggy. But like I say, this is the fast route. A lot, a lot of ETCs use this road now uh, and just run up, down, up, down. Either Toronto or San Giovanni, you know, just up, back, up, back. It, it's a fast route. Um, there's another route that Crash uses quite a lot that runs east to west or west to east. Um, I'm not sure where that one goes. I mean, I'm sure you could run something like um, Plymouth to wherever it's east of Germany as a long run. That'd be quite nice. Or maybe somewhere like, I don't know, Wick across to Germany and just follow the sat-nav because the sat-nav will take you via the train and you can drive the train on pro mods. So there's 30 mile more. Have a good trip, guys. <laughs> Hello, Shadow. Hello, Shadow. Safe trip, buddy. Safe trip to you too, guys, as well. Guys, that was Shadow Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fancy meeting him on the road. Yeah, I heard that um, last... BTC, no? Yes, I know. I know, that's where the last thing went. Oh, it's Adrian from Lady Bear Trucking. Look, I um, saw the messages. I just got back in the chair saying, tag along. I wonder if Tav's put his desk back to get rid of it. 
Anybody in um, the side Discord see Tav back in the little uh, in the lounge? He was putting his new desk together last I heard, and then obviously he's got to put everything back on top. There he is. <laughs> I was just wondering whether you'd finished. Hey, dude, how you doing, guys? You all know him. You all love him. He's the average Viking. If you're not already following, what the fuck have you been doing? And yeah, you should. How's the desk building going? You finished? little bit envious of you mate actually he's got his wheel he's got his new wheel and i gotta wait to the end of the month thanks fox that's come through mate i'll check that out a little later desk together mate just sorting everything else out cool did you manage to get the one with the justy legs that one you were talking about in chat the other day if you have, that's sweet. I looked at one of them in Ikea. Yes, mate. Yeah, I looked at one of them in Ikea and I thought, ooh. But then I thought, I'd never move it. <laughs> uh, well, there's a, a metro in Prague. Uh, going right past SCS Software's metro station. Sorry, Joe. I was reading chat. <laughs> like his colors over the other side then nice so guys if you didn't know by now eric um has been right outside scs software's main offices <laughs> metro station eco and and shopping center nice Twenty-two minutes to the end of job, guys. Uh, this has been a good, good, good night's uh, casualish drive. I know I'm doing sixty now, guys, but we did start out doing fifty-six, um, and then when I realised that it was just crashing Joe with me, um, I know the guys are comfortable with fifty-eight, so we increased to fifty-eight. Um, we did five or six jobs, and yeah, I said that I'd finish on a biggie. And it's just Joe with me, so we up to the 60. And Adri Adrian J joined us from uh, Lady Bear Trucking, and he's up, he's up behind us. That's the blue dot on my map. Oh, on my sat nav. And numbers tonight have been. I mean, I'm not a numbers watcher normally, but. Yeah, numbers tonight have been off the chain. I mean, at one point, I think there was 55 in here. That's awesome. Really is. Thank you. And Tav, thanks to um, Dark Age Gaming. I have the Caspier, or Casper, however you want to pronounce it, that one. Uh, I put it in two-wheeled version. It's nice, I like it. Um, so I put mine in two-wheeled short. Um, even in that version, still has steer steery wheels at the back. Not sure if it takes a slightly smaller container to the one you were using the other day. But it's a good, good trailer. like it. I mean, I've been using it all night, so... That's colourful. I like that. Happy to support you inside. You're a dude, man. Really are.
And guys, there will be an outbreak in three minutes. It'll last for a minute. Just a hot minute. Uh, it's, yeah, so Tav, according to Vox, RGO have finally updated their 4 Series TNT um, TCAB. I don't know how far they've updated it, but it's going to be nice looking at it. I'm going to put that mod straight in and have a look at it later. I mean, I'm going to literally have a bite to eat and get straight and do it. And have a look. I'm just impatient. I can't wait to the end of the month now. Not only uh, are me and the wife getting a new Brum Brum, but yeah, I'm also transferring from <laughs> Rust Mass to the Moza, which should make the experience on here and uh, farming and snow running feel so much smoother. So much smoother. And I still haven't told the wife that, you know, Overclockers give you a bag of sweeties with your with your with your purchase. <laughs> you probably just heard me. Ooh, sweeties! <laughs> so, guys, beside me, you may recognise the paintwork because it's uh, so ag. Well, it's not so ag. It's um, but it is so ag. It's Viking transports, EMP stuff, and the Welsh flag means it can only be one person. Mr. Joe Wells. Uh, you need more DOCs for SnowRunner? No, I've got them all, dude, don't I? I think. Yeah, I think I got them all. I could do with the TSW, Will, from, <laughs> from Overclockers. Oh, fuck. Thanks, Kev. Uh, Joe, I can't see. Luckily, we're on the motorway and I can see either side. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Kev, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> I can see again. <laughs> Thank fuck there's a cooldown on that. That's the first time that's been used tonight. Like I say, guys, this route, the northbound route, you can do it 60 the whole way. Don't even have to slow down. Keep me on my toes. Thanks, dude. And guys, tomorrow, two o'clock, um, yeah, snow running. Uh, we'll have two spaces. Uh, so there'll be me and Kev. Uh, the map we're on is Tennessee. You don't need to have the DOC uh, to come and help. Um, the DOC belongs to me, and you're coming to help me. Um, Kev's on um console so crossplay will be on you just need well you don't even really need to be a have a capable truck you just need to come and join us and see if you can do something and you're all on outbreak so some of you would never heard that so, so tomorrow i'll just rephrase some of you is um yeah tomorrow me and kev's going to be doing a bit of snow run at 2 p.m uh uk time Look at this, look. nice to see. Even spacing. Oh, God. I can only imagine how we look when there's 15 of us on like that. That just looks superb. Especially when we're all evenly spaced like that, and occasionally we are. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's so nice to look at as we go by. The only way that would have looked nicer is if 
say one was a curtain cider one was a, a like a food truck one was a i don't know say a cattle truck you know kind of a few different trailers in there all whole colors like the downside is the cattle truck can only be painted in like two or three colors which is a shame you'd think you could put a skin on it put a wrap on it with whatever you wanted or maybe I'm, maybe I'm asking a little too much <laughs> I don't know maybe maybe not yeah so the plans are if Kev doesn't have other obligations we're going to be doing snow runner tomorrow for a couple hours and you're welcome to come along for the ride uh, and of course if you want to play with us you're quite welcome also there'll be two spaces um on what are we on monday tuesday monday on wednesday uh about the same time if minute streams in the morning i'll be on my single player convoy <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. oh there he is fucking hell fucking hell Get bricks. <laughs> I hate it when he does that. <laughs> Turn your fucking mic down, you prick. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so th tomorrow, Snow Runner. The day afterwards, I'll be on my single player because I want to show you the T cab. Uh, it may be the new mod. Um, not sure whether it looks any different or whether it's a I don't know maybe it, they've upgraded it to the torpedo I'm off the food catch you on tomorrow's stream no worries dude we'll see you tomorrow brother guys Dark Age Gamer um, he does stream um, and I'll try and find his button to shout him out <laughs> Average is still trying to put his desk together and stuff oh there he is found it there you go guys he streams a little bit and he's an all-around good guy um when he gives you stuff he doesn't go through twitch so whatever he buys you is 100 percent from him to you and the way he does that he rates your steam wish list Before you go, Dark Age, did you um, look at Arkansas for somebody? Just asking. Or didn't you remember? <laughs> I know he didn't say, oh, I don't know. I'm still out. Um, Select like the clear yours in minutes wish list. And it's on my list. You'll never clear mine, dude. I guarantee you'll never clear mine. I'll always put something on it. I mean, there's like three games on there. I know that you'll never buy me, so it's fun. And I've done it on purpose. Uh, but the DOC for that person is on my list. Okay, yeah, no worries. So on my list, as well as, a, I don't know, some DOCs for... Um, I think you cleared out the ones for um, Gen Z. I think there's one or two on there for Hunter Call of the Wild. Um, but the whole games that are on there were uh, F124. Um... Forza Motorsports the newest one but I want to check on that one because somebody said that to play that you need Xbox Online and I'm not sure you do if you get it on Steam because that seems a bit odd using another person's profile or online services to be able to play it on Steam. I, I'm going to have to read up on the thing. Uh, there's three Gen Z DOCs, but uh, it won't 
let me get you one which is called Rivals. I think I might already have it. Uh, you don't want F124? Why? Why don't I want that? Explain yourself. That's nice. Triples. You can only normally use them in Finland. So he's had to go to Finland to get them out. But they look nice. I might use them the next time we go um, on convoy. Uh, the game has lots of issues still. Oh, okay. Boo -boo to you too. So this next drive through guys is just a gantry drive through. So there's not even tow booths on the road, it's just an overhead. We're not far off the end actually. As soon as we enter the tunnels in a minute, it goes from double to single lane. You know, I think a triple and then back to a single. But we're nearing the end guys. And thank you to all for you for just sticking around. Much appreciated. It very much is. I mean, I don't ask that you give anything to the channel. Um, but what you do give does go back into the stream, whether it be upgrades, games for you to watch me play, gifts back to the channel or back to you guys. Um, yeah. Is it me or is with the location that we're going up to a little bit laggy at the moment? I mean, I'm running 48 frames, so it might be a little laggy. What does it say my ping is? Uh, 19, that's not too bad. I normally run anywhere between 15 and 30 ping. And that's that's pretty good. And that's only because um probably my upload speed and because i'm using most of it already <laughs> all right single back into kind of double or whatever back to single but we're nearly there literally where the port is that's where we're dropping it's kind of a big old yard as well so it's why i chose why i choose to go to there and go up because when you get there if there's anybody else there it's a massive massive yard slow down a little bit for this corner there I say start slowing down for a tight left Don't have to worry about the trailer because it's got steering wheels, it'll just follow you around. And there we go, we're here. Boom. So there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let's go see if there's anybody about to raid. Um, okay, let's put it in the end screen. Uh, thanks, Joe, for that. Much appreciated, dude. And Adrian at the end, thanks for tagging along. And thank you to Crash, who, uh, for a couple of jobs there, wasn't logging. Uh, hopefully you're in chat now and you've sorted that much out. Thank you, Liam. Dickhead. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go see who's about. Okay, so we have... Uh, Crewlex is on doing his thing. Uh, Darius is on, uh, of course, Satisfactory Lee Dog's on. Uh, Trekker Rich is on doing whatever that is, TCG's card shop. Don't know what that is. 
uh my buddy uh impact redefines on no problem good night you're going to bed dude <laughs> game of ribbon love you uh ultimate fizzy's on doing a bit of gran turismo i oh, know it's not gran turismo it's grand theft auto 5 um yeah 5m um should we go and say hello to james again I read it in the other night. He's playing The Precinct, which I'm presuming is a police type game. Okay. Oh, yes, that was that um, link to Cersei. I will try and put that on a thing at some point, mate, uh, for next stream. So thank you, DJ. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so let's read into James from Icon City. I want to get this man some publicity, guys, because um, to us streamers that are partnered with Icon City, he does treat us rather well. Um, and yeah, we throw him ideas, he throws ideas back, and it's a two-way street. It's great, it's great, great fun. So, guys, we're going to send you over to James of Icon City. Please use my radar emotes as you go in. Um, which are these boys and yeah we should see you tomorrow 2 p.m uk time snow runner be there we'll be square bye bye doodles <laughs>